Well, welcome back, everybody, to Knights of Trigaria. So uh, we're gonna get on uh, going here pretty pretty quickly. Let me send out a a sweet tweet, or just a tweet, you know, just send out the little twee birds on uh, Twitter and all that. I think I'm gonna open up to some other uh, um, some other response. Uh, things here because there's there's other ones that are opening up like uh, there's like uh, I think I've heard of a telegram a parlor thing well I think I already have parlor I kind of use it sometimes so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to expand uh, some of my resources I wanted to put out some of my stuff on another platform but some I gotta figure out which one I want to do because some platforms they change some things and some don't let you upload at a certain uh, rate of gigabytes, some only have so so much of a particular sense of quality. I don't know. It's uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. It's kind of kind of difficult. <laughs> but anyways, what we're gonna do today here for the Knights of Trigaria is we are going to uh, grind out some stuff, and if we can. What we're going to try to do is we are going to try to take down one of the legendary locations. If we have our guys and our ducks in a row, we're going to try to go for that, try to do that. So if we can take down a, the the ancient library, I think that's probably the best way to do this. Uh, there's a lot of legendary locations we'll try to hit, and we'll see if we can crush them. Um, but... Uh, you know, we'll we'll see what we can do here. Oh, hey, out the sin. <laughs> Got the raging there. <laughs> I thought I did a pretty decent job with the with the raging robot there. Uh, so I hope you guys like that one. Uh, hey, carrot, how's it going? Um. So, yeah, how's everybody doing today? How is it going here? Uh, looks like we got a reset of something. I gotta. Get my stream stream thing back up here, but uh, we'll get going real soon here. I just got to get one thing, one app working. One app is down apparently, but yeah, like I said, we're gonna try to do the ancient library tonight, which is pretty brutal. Honestly, uh, when I played it before, it was pretty damn brutal. It was uh, it's like a two hour plus fight just to beat the damn thing, but. It's probably because I didn't play it right the first time. Well, the first time I didn't really know how to fight it. I don't think anybody really knew how to fight it. I was one of the first ones to get done with it, though. Um, I can't say I was the first, but I think I was one of the first people to get done with it, though. Although I probably did it wrong the whole time. Because I, I think I I think I killed the lore master too early, and I think you're supposed to not do that. So I'm going to... At least I've heard some rumors about that, so I think I'm going to try not to kill the Lore Master first. You know, because I, I went after him hard, you know, to kill him off. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to break all the jars first before I kill him off. You know, just kind of let him dink around and let him live for a bit. Uh, so probably something like that. But uh, let's get going here, guys. And... Uh, we did a lot of work. Uh, a lot of work's been done. This this game does take a lot of extra work. If I just if I just stream this solely by myself, oh, I forgot about that there. Whoa, I don't really need this thing. Um, but if I if I were just to do this myself, you know, just stream it, I'd have to stream it like all day every day, because there's a lot of de there's a lot of time. I put so much time into this game, man. Um, I do like it though, it's fun, but um, it would just, I'd run out of things to talk about, <laughs> I would just be like, I think I'd probably, if I was going to do this like all the time I'm just streaming, I would just go without a mic because there's just a lot to look at, um, but I think it's more interesting if I have, you know, something fun to say about it, but we did find some new stuff here, uh, we got uh, this carapace, I don't remember where we got this from. Oh, I think I bought this. Yeah, I bought this for like 40 grand or something. And uh, I decided to put these uh, Hexen Sigils stuff on there. 
uh, because he, this ni he, nice hero, Shake and Not Stirred, is going to be my uber tank for uh, the final battle. So he's going to be out there by himself. Hopefully he won't raise any flags as soon as they start surrounding him because it does seem to happen on my team sometimes. I, I think whatever reason, the game starts off with a very neutral flag system. And then as soon as they start seeing you like do good stuff, then they're like, Oh, oh, oh let, let, let's let's put up a, let's raise a flag, you know, because I've seen multiple times not just not just nice hero. Hey, how's it going, nice hero? <laughs> oh, that's cool. You got the little clicky fingers there. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to get an animated thing too. What would you think would be a cool animated thing? You know what I think I'll do, unless you think it's you know I do something different. I'll get a gun. And it'll go boom, and it'll go pew pew, you know, with uh, with a gun going click click, click click boom. From another streamer that someone gifted me a subscription. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool, man. Um, or else I'll do I don't know what to do really for an animated thing, but apparently I'm free and clear to do. I have an extra one I can do, and I think the animated one I didn't get, I didn't get to do yet. But what I'm trying to say is uh, Nice Hero is pretty close to being ready for the final alt fight. Um, I just need to get a better helmet, which this is a pretty good helmet as is. Almost as, as good as like the last endgame helmets, but there could be one with less fatigue. So less fatigue gives me more initiative, gives you more evasion stuff. And people are like, oh, it doesn't mean anything. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. Uh, when you got dodge and you got recover and you've got high initiative, this will give you back defense. So we go in that final fight, uh, nice hero, you're going to be doing some shield walls and then recover shield wall recover. Maybe, maybe we'll do uh repost sometimes just so we can do some counterattacks. but you're just going to be defending the thing until, well, until we can get back up to you and save you if we can. Um, but with the Relentless here and with the Dodge, make sure that your initiative is high and initiative would count as evasion. This is what you're going to need, especially with the tankiness. Now you're already at 65 with three stars. I mean, as soon as you see the other stuff go up, you'll be up in the 80s, you know. Uh... This is what I saw someone do with it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, man. Um, so anyways, you're going to be a pretty good plus the lone wolf thing. Keep Make sure that you're plus 15%. So your character is going to be pretty good. Uh, what else did we get that was new here? Well, we did find that. I did find this shield too. I always wanted a metal shield. I like the metal shields the best when they go ding and they hit the shield. I don't know. Just I like the sound. I like the sound of that when they when our guys dodge with the shield. Uh, this is a pretty good one. Not the absolute best, but pretty good. I changed around a couple characters. Um, we're probably gonna. I'm gonna see about retiring Zuri. But then again, I might have him as a backup guy. We'll have to see. I'm making this guy right now. And I just got him up to this point, which I think we're going to use him. Peter the Southern Cross. He was a crusader. Pulled him off the cross. And, uh, yeah, we pulled him off the cross. So he has some pretty good stats, honestly. And uh, he just leveled up to level 11. So I think you might keep him because he... He's, I mean, Zuri's a little bit more accurate, but defense-wise, if you're going to be standing there without a shield, I'd rather you be up to close to 40 evasion here. Uh, we found this sweet shield. I can't remember where we found it, uh, but that's pretty cool. Uh, Carrot's going to lead the way here because I'm putting a new guy here. There there was the uh, orange man, and uh, his his... His evasion wasn't super high, so I'm like going back and forth. I found a barbarian. He just joined our team out of nowhere. He's like, 
hey, I got nowhere to go, and, and uh, they, my clan kicked me out. So this is the, f this is the oddest thing that can happen in, in a peasant militia. Normally you just cannot get a barbarian at all because they're considered combat. There's only that one particular thing where you can get barbarian, and so I'm like, oh, okay, I'll pick him up. Unfortunately, his last two levels, he only leveled up like one point of evasion, and I want to make... I want to make another scythe guy, but I'm going to need that freaking evasion, you know? So we've got this guy here, who is a indebted, bright, and huge. So we're going to see which one is better, and probably use that one. Uh, what else? So yeah, shield-wise, we've pretty much got us a lot of rares. We, we have a whole extra plethora of backup gear here. This gear is going to be for the Kraken. So when we go in the Kraken fight, I'm going to put on all these uh, all these things here so the fatigue is a lot, lot less. And uh, we'll go and do that. Got the extra shields. These are the Goblin Shields. So I was done with that. And we'll put these on for the uh, Black Monolith. Um, and this is my, this is my Black Monolith uh, gear set here. What we're going to do with Holy Water. I might even use Holy Water tonight if we're fighting the uh, the library stuff, because it'd just be really easy to kill them all, you know? It would be cool to do a uh, Paul robot without arms and then put his arms in a separate emote doing something funny. <laughs> yeah, we could do something like that. Maybe he could be a cheer, a cheer bot, you know? Um, give him pom-poms, right? Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen this before, but this is super rare, and I've heard of this, and I can't believe I actually got this out. This is the fourth time playing. Rags the Wolf. You can find this thing. Unfortunately, you cannot give it any... You, you can't put a... Uh, you can't put any armor on it, so it dies kind of quick. But it does hit the enemy a lot more than the, mo than the basic dogs do. So it will do more damage. But you got to be careful, you know. Mostly, I just fleeing targets I, I I use for him. But we might use some dogs tonight. Um, so, anyways, that's pretty much kind of what's going on there. Uh, Alec Baldwin, the ghost gun. I'm kind of just keeping him with the the gun for now. It's kind of fun, and I'll switch him out to uh to you know another thing here. Uh, the midget muncher is is quite powerful. The midget muncher and carrot are are some of my best. Uh, Scythers, except for Neo the Heretic, you know, he's a uh, Spoon Heretic, he's he's quite good too. So we got some good guys, we're, we're in high levels, I think we're ready to go and do some like, you know, end game stuff here, but I would love it, because we're, we're only, we got like uh, three armor pieces for the front line, still to get, you know, legendary pieces, because I want to, I prefer to have legendary everything before I go fight all that stuff so we got three for the front line and one for the back and then helmet pieces we probably could go with what we got but we'll do a little bit of grinding tonight i think i'm just going to focus one guy one guy up to the uh at least uh one two three wait one two three okay we'll get them We'll get them at least to battle forged, and then we'll we'll try out the thing. I don't want I don't want to try any kind of end game thing with a guy that's not even battle forged or or nimble. But I don't think this guy's gonna be nimble. I don't think we can do that. Yeah, I, know what. I need like a really really good high star guy to put in nimble. Otherwise, initiative. I mean. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. So, let's do some uh, let's do some quests here. But how's your night going, Altison and Nice Hero and everybody? How's it going? Um, I did get another game too that I didn't really talk about, and I'm trying to think about when I want to stream that. And I forgot the name of it, but it's kind of like I, I probably would be playing with other players for this thing. I don't know. There's a game called Noble Fates. And I just, I it looked really cool, so I got it. So I'll have to test it out sometime. But I don't, it's, it's more like I think I'm playing as a particular role and I'm building, uh, helping build like a medieval town or something like that. 
so it looked cool and I got it. <laughs> it wasn't wasn't too much, I think, but um, I'll have to try that out some night. So I think in the future with Knights of Trigari, we'll kind of like mix it up with some things here. Um, but uh, good, trying a beer mix with tonic, wa tonic water. It's pretty good. Whoa. Yeah, it's on a, it's on Steam. I think it just came out and it got like little characters you could play as. So it'd be more like a role playing character, you know, for me there. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know why. I just saw it. I'm like, wow, that seems like something I might actually want to try. I see a lot of games. Trust me. I know you see me play a lot of the similar games, but I, I see a lot of games and there's a lot of games I see that I don't like. <laughs> I hate to be negative about it, but there's just a lot of games I see, and uh, I'm not going to like that. Uh, I already know I'm not going to like that one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just kind of know some of these games I'm, I just know I'm not going to like. Uh, I like I like a lot of the older games a little more than I liked how a lot of the new games came out, really. I, I sort of do. All right. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know what the I, I I think it's just I think it's probably the story or something like that. Not to drink Wisefell this is long until Rossi the Trigger is bothering locals. <laughs> He's slapping buckets out of the hands and kicking women in the mud. <laughs> when an old man confronts with the cell sword draws out his weapon, other peasants beg that you put a stop in it at once. The peasants in their place in search of observation. I don't have time for this. <laughs> you shrug. Rusty Trigger doesn't run. Doesn't run the old man through, but he does threaten to, raising the weapon on high. When the old man cowers, the cell sword delivers a punch that knocks the elderly right out. His teeth, pepping the mock like spits of white rain. This brings a few jeers from the villagers, but they know not to contest your presence any further. A few men drag the elder away while children boo and women hiss. One child even runs up to the cell sword, pointing at him as he yells, He's a bad man! Veracity and Trigger shrugs his sheep <laughs> in his... Shrugs his sheath in his weapon. And yet the bad man still stands. Would you... Also like to taste the mud, little one. Good. <laughs> Looks like I'm a bad man. <laughs> no one to things that actually matter. <laughs> Rusty Trigger, the bad man. Oh, well, oh well. You know, you live and you learn. Or you get older. You know, one of the two. Uh, there's so many games a game from base... For basically, but not every game is for me. Yeah, so I watched a video on Noble Fates. It looks good. Looks like a game I used to play called Stone Hearth, but also seems a lot like Rimworld. Oh, Kraken. <laughs> oh, Kraken. Crikey. I've become a bad man in here. What the heck? Are you, are you serious? How am I going to complete the... Oh, no. I went back to Hostel. Let me look at this. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I was just unfriendly with them because I was, you know, kicking their ass in the war. The, the whole town went to hostel? Oh, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. I, I bet my stat status with Saintly is going to change soon. They're going to be like, this evil bastard, he was kicking women in the mud. <laughs> and I got a contract with them. I can't go back into town now. How am I supposed to complete this contract? I don't know. Guess we just... Just do it, I suppose, right? We triggered the town, Altison, right? I was trying to decide whether to call that triggered or just trigger. So I guess you could use it either way. But you can also use it to, to mention activation, you know? Clicking the trigger or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so that was near. So oh, why the hell am I? Why am I over here? Get back over there, little guy. We don't have time for this. I mean, we do. We have all night, really. But, you know. <laughs> okay. 
Where are those unholds? Okay, I see a little... I see a little feet, feety prints here. Nope, that's those, those are barbs. Follow the footprints. It's the easiest thing in this game. Follow, and, and the way they look too, they just basically tell you. Well, are they going to attack me? Well, how many are here? Five? Five stinking unholds? One nice thing is I've got a barbarian on my team. He might actually yell at them and scare them away. I've seen him do it in the past. You know what? Unholds are actually quite difficult to deal with. The beginning What's parts What you gonna do, brother, when veracity trigger runs wild on you? Exactly. But in the beginning of the game, un unholds are kind of kind of really difficult. But once you start getting some legendary gear, yeah, they can give you some injuries. But as long as you play it just the right way, you'll be fine. Like right now, I could deal with... I, um, I've, I've fought 11 snow unholds, and it's not that hard. It's not that hard. You just don't want them hitting the noobs of your of your team too much, really. That's that's about it. But uh yeah, I need to get a drink here. Oh wow, it's already eight. Gotta get a drink. Alright, where should I go with you? Or Peter's fresh out the fresh out the box. This guy's still quite fresh too. I don't want the greenhorns getting hurt too much right now. I'll, I'll, I'll probably set them up for some finishing moves, but... You do have to be careful with your noob characters in this game. They do love to... They love to pick on it. Even when you're playing against multiple, multiple enemies, like uh, undead and goblins at the same time, or hyenas and, you know name something they'll they'll try to always find a way to get around you to get your back line not just your back line but your weakest character even the vampires like I, I find it it's like it's interesting now they do that every single time they don't miss a beat they'll constantly go for the the character with the weakest uh melee defense and, or the guy with the lowest hit points, or the newer guy on the team, even if uh, you know he's got some decent stats in comparison. They'll always try to find the weakest target. All right, Alec Baldwin, we have to put the gun away. Don't want to accidentally shoot. Anybody? I find it funny. He's still walking around, right? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? I guess they, I guess if you want to shoot somebody, you just gotta have a armory uh, guy near you, even if you're a producer. You can just... Oh, that's interesting. So you could just shoot somebody if you hire an armorer. That's all you gotta do. Right? Right? Isn't that, the, isn't that all you gotta do, Altison? I think that's all there is to it. Alright, we gotta get you over here. Uh, I kind of want a free space. No, I'll go right here. We'll go right there. Looking good. Oh, man. 
I don't have a clear shot. I'm gonna get around here. Let's go around this way here. Whoa. That was weird. My neighbors just like must have dropped something off the wall as soon as my guy <laughs> as soon as my guy landed his axe blow. It was like boom boom. At the same time. That's okay. Oh, we could go for the twofer here. Whoa! Yes, we can. Man, Eltison, I keep just knocking you back and forth, dude. Are you going to take it? Just going to sit there and take it? I wouldn't. Dude, you can get up there. Uh, I really want my new guy to get this kill. He didn't, he didn't get any experience yet. I don't know if he can jump. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have the skills yet to get up there that quickly. I think this battle is too quick for him. Probably should have put him uh I probably should have put him in a battle a little bit quicker. He's still kind of a baby. He doesn't have Battle Forged on right now. If he had Battle Forged, I'd feel a little more confident with him. Let's go here. Well, maybe he can get a hit. Maybe he can. Oh, he's fleeing. Nope, not there. Can't get a hit there. You know, we might be able to get a kill with him. That might do it. And he's got to go last, right? Yep. Yes! We got the little guy a kill. Good. I want to get him a Battle Forge before we put him into the uh, the library fight. And I'll probably put the li if we get the library fight done today, I'll put that out on uh, YouTube. So this will go on YouTube as well. But uh, we'll have to see here. With a giant slain, you get the man ready for return to Geralt the Wise. But even most secondo to none fetches your attention with a bit of quiver in his throat. You head on over to see him standing before one of the felled unholds. He points across its flesh, which has been torn asunder in slices and hangs like ears of cornstalk. The damage is far beyond ability of your own weaponry. 
Selsor turns and looks past you with his eyes widening. What do you imagine to that? Further along the skin are concave scars shaped like saucers and punctures rent right into the holes. You climb atop the unhold and clank your sword into one of those divots, wrenching free a tooth about the length of your forearm. Along its edges are barbs, teeth with teeth, it seems. The men see this and start muttering amongst themselves, and you'd wish you never saw it at all, for you've no sense to make of it. Well, it's are dark and full of terrors. Yeah, what's that about? Gain 600 crowns, a successful hunt, and now they're enemies. <laughs> Now they hate us because I decided to go nuts in the town and throw women in ditches and and knock out old men and their you know punch them and break their teeth. Oh man, I am a wild man. I am a wild man after all. I'm just a brute, you know. Just just some big bad old brute, you know. All right, so we got uh, this set here. Let's get all the things. We got only two. Two for attack, one for defense. I don't know if I'm going to keep any of these guys. Even with all the stats, he still sucks. I mean, he's got hearts in here, but geez. Look at that. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do with him? I don't know. Let's, um... Let's just go with the basics, I guess. Okay, I got one, two, three to go. We'll keep him. We'll we'll keep him training here. I I think he's still, he's still got the training wheels on. I think. Do we? Two more battles. All right. That is all right. Hmm. Yeah, man, that, that, it, we, we had, you know, it's the weirdest thing. We had a war, uh, a southern war, which immediately moved into a northern war, and they didn't even tell me about it until this was becoming friendly again, because if you make enemies with the north, they don't even tell you about the next event if you're not um, working in the north, and if there's a normal war in the north, they won't even tell you about it. So as soon as as soon as um this became unfriendly, which means I can do contracts with them, then they started then they gave me like a, a, a battle to do with the other with House Harkon. So I was like, wait, wow, I'll tell you. So I think in the future, I'm probably just gonna fight against the South. Because that way I'll actually get to see what the next uh end game crisis is. Cause if you it because if you do an endgame crisis and you do the you fight for the Southerners, it could take twice as long to even understand what's going on. Because if if the Northern teams you can't get any contracts with, you won't even know you're in a new crisis. By the time I went to click on the battle to do the battle, I clicked on the battle, and it immediately told me right after that, "Oh, looks like we're at war in the North." I'm like, the battle comes later. It doesn't come immediately. You know, they, they tell you about this before you, you're supposed to get into it. So they were already warring with each other. The northern tribe were already warring, nor, warring with each other before I even knew about it. Which is very weird. Okay, what are we going to do here? Hunting beasts, privateering. I don't like privateering. Uh, I need a lot of food. And if I don't have a temple anywhere nearby... Or Apocrythes, which I do have a couple of those, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, it's not for me, really. So we just have the privateering there. We got hunting beasts. I think we should go down, I think we should go down south. See what's going on down there. I haven't been down south for a while, and I'm not seeing any war things besides privateering I see no war contracts which war contracts is essentially the uh, the big battle contracts that's the one I want let's go to let's go to Dahab for a second 
see what's there. And uh, then we'll look for some more contracts. The, the big battle contracts, those are the, the most fun to do. That's what I live to play for for the most part. A lot of people like those too. But you fight 47 versus 47 guys or 50 versus 50, you know, with a whole unit of guys. I mean, it just, it's one of my favorite parts, really. Whoa, what's this, what's this unit doing here? Are they fighting the dragon team? I don't think they should be. It seems as if right now everybody's up against House Harkon, which is the bull clan with the white-black banner. Okay, so they're still friendly. It looks like they are. They're 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 going down this way. So I think they're um, I think everybody's up against House Harkon right now. Which is good for us, obviously. Okay, so they're doing that job themselves. Better you than me. Oh, and if we find a pack of knights that want to attack us, we're going to drag it over to some orc base, and we're going to have some fun over there. <laughs> I see a knight. I see a necromancer, Vitagangers, ghosts. Okay, this guy's probably gonna... I, I think this guy's gonna attack me. I could have him fight ghosts. Maybe, but I did want to go and fight some orcs over here. Maybe I'll drag them down south. Oh, you know what? That would work out because southerners aren't fighting the northerners at this moment, so they won't get distracted by that. That could work out for me. Oh, he went over there. You still didn't get him? Oh, I guess he killed him. Wait, what was that? Make sure this is good. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're gonna we have to fight against a knight, a sergeant, some bannermen, billmen, lots of footmen, basically a little army here. And the thing is, like the relations go down when you fight them too, but the fact is they come after you. I don't get why that's the case, you know? They should be like, well, they attacked me, you know? But this is the medieval ages, you know? So, obviously, you know, it's all hearsay at the end of the day. We got brigands. <laughs> You know, it'd be hilarious if we could fight brigands, nomads, and regular guys at the same time. That would be hilarious. If that could happen, I've never been able to do that. That would literally be a four-way fight. Because if we could fight the nomads, the brigands, and the other knights at the same time, we would all be fighting each other. I don't know where they would even place any place us. But that would be something I could try. Would be kind of funny. But they'll, they'll, they're too squeamish. They move around too much. I don't know if, if we'll even get that to work. Oh, you're going to go back through there, hey? And get yourself killed. All right, cool. I wanted to have a, a four-way here. 
Not just the three away. I've had plenty of three aways in this game. And uh, ready to up my game, you know? You know what they say? I think that's what they say, right? No, no four way, no four play. I think that's what they do, right? I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, let me know if I'm wrong. I, I don't know. Come on, follow me right into my trap. <laughs> We're gonna get those little bastards. They, uh, they have attacked our 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 guy once in the past. Oh yeah, where you get him? Ooh, can we make this happen? I wonder, like, how much? Like, I gotta look at how many guys are left here. I don't think they'll even last long enough. Fifteen versus two. Uh, I need to get a drink. I'll be back. Trying to turn off the lights. I can see that a little better. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Be cool. It'd be awesome if I could get like a five-way fight. Orcs, brigands, nomads, knights, myself. Let's say like a hundred plus, you know, battle or whatever. Man, these guys are ripped. Just killing everything along the way. Thanks, buddy. I didn't ask you to, but you know, you're doing a great job. Doing a great job, Dunning Dunning uh Dunning Haven Company. Dune Haven Company. So the reason we're doing this is we're probably going to go fight some orc band here. I want to find a good one too. Small camp. I want a big camp here, not a small camp. Homestead, that won't do. Oh, there's a big one there. No, that's too small. Well, I guess we're going to Maruk Blot. We gotta get some food though. Dragging these guys over here so I can get them close by, go grab some food. We got three days left. Hopefully we'll be able to slowly skirt them over there. <laughs> I love that you can do this. The only reason we're still hostile is because of this, because they keep attacking me. We we did the Northern War, and then that wore off, and I kept trying to do random contracts, but the, the House Harkon kept attacking me every time I was taking a... You know, taking a carriage ride or something like that. And Rabbit Holt eventually just forgot about all that. And they were just like, oh, I guess we're friends, and, you know. And uh, the, the House Harkon keeps attacking me with knights. So we're just never going to be friends, I guess. Maybe even after the war. <laughs> Who knows? Get back here, you land lovers. Wait, can they only go so far? Are 
Are you kidding me? That will push them back? No way, dude. That is weird, dude. They literally push themselves back because of another group coming forward and are not even fighting them. Look, I'm right on top of them. They, they, they totally changed trajectory. That is so weird. <laughs> I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know if they're going to fight them. They're not technically against them right now, but they're on my side. They also kind of are on this side. What what is what are these guys going to do? They're on my side. They weren't conscripted to fight against them at all. But now they are conscripted. I, I forced them to fight the other team. I wonder what happens here. Well, you know what? This will be a fun battle. This is kind of like a little mini war right here, right? It's my little mini war. We got the war music too. It's kind of cool. I uh, I was hoping we could fight. We could bring them over there. I guess whatever reason. I guess they must have put it in the code that if another um, allied troop runs through there, it'll it'll clear out their memory and make them run back. Otherwise, I could like if I had the food, I could have I could have drug them, dragged them all the way across the end of the world. As far as I wanted until I could fight the orc thing, but I, I had to go that way so I could get some more food. But uh, then they backed off. I didn't get to get the food. Oh well. This is totally unnecessary. <laughs> I wanted my war. I wanted my battle. I'm going to get it one way or another. All right, nice here. You're going to go out and uh, create some commotion over there. And if anybody in the chat, if you're a follower, you want a name after something, let me know. We got a couple new characters here. Which I didn't really get to name yet. I wonder if this is going to activate the Southern War. It's because I made them fight each other. Does Is that how that gets going? Somehow they get involved fighting each other somehow, and then the, the war activates on the South? I'm trying to figure out the parameters as to why, why certain wars happen. I think, I think I know that if you don't break down enough undead uh, 
places and goblin places or or orc places, then you get the you get the undead or the orc fight because there's too many of that roaming around. I think that's how the game plays it out because it didn't seem to want to put it in the green skin thing recently because I was constantly on quest to you know kill off a marauding green skins which I just take them over to an undead civilization fight them both at the same time. So I think I can kind of manipulate the end game stuff, but I think only to such a degree, not not really really well, but so far I haven't had to do the undead or the green skin for like a like a week now. It went it went from uh I think it went from war to southern war to right back to noble war again. Cuz I kept taking a green skin contracts and uh and then just breaking down some random old uh, undead thing, too. Gonna use our gun and go kaboom. I hope this hits them all. <laughs> Everybody's got a gun on this team. going here we're gonna take the moral high ground yes we are come on it's zombie time I didn't get my zombie there I'll have to wait for the next turn Yeah, I de I, we, we can definitely do one of the legendary things tonight, but I don't want to do it until the one guy has at least Battleforge. So otherwise, he, he could be a, a really good liability for that fight. And it's unfortunate, I, we don't have two cleavers. Like last time I've done it, I did it with two cleavers, so I had like two whips I could use. And this time I only have one. So I might have to go in with more dogs. Dogs might have to save us to some degree here. I don't know what we're going to do. And if what I'm talking about sounds all gibberish and stuff, you'll just have to see the fight. It's, uh, it's a very crazy fight. There's undead skull heads that come out and explode on you. There's... An ancient lore master priest guy who's really, really bad and evil and stuff. There's the skellies. There's laser beams. There's thunderbolts. It's ridiculous. And uh, it, it does last a while. I, I'd almost say if they tweaked it a little bit, that could make it harder than the uh, black monolith in a way. But... Hopefully they don't, because that is, uh, oh, I found a guy hiding in the bush. Hey, guy. Wait, why can't I hit over here? Why can't I hit two spaces away? Are you minus two vision? What is my vision? Two? Well, if I got two vision... Oh, no, I need three vision. Oh, my gosh, you're right. So, uh, my, oh, because it makes sense. My space, the next space. 
And his damn helmet is like, you know, minus three. Okay. There is there's a slight problem with fighting at night with him. It's really the helmet, but... When's that knight coming in here? There he goes. Ah, oh, crap. I hit my ally and not the other way around. No. All right, let's just put in the right kind of attacks here. And we'll do this right. Come on, Durka. Durka, you're going to go exploring. I guess almost everybody can, too. See, that's a problem with fighting the south. There's so many guns. And just blow up your whole troop. Plus, one reason I don't like to fight against the south too much is the uh, is the alchemist sells the uh, level up potion. You can't buy it anywhere else other than in the uh, in the south. So I usually try to stay allies with them because it does help level up a little bit faster. I mean, yeah, you could go up against the southern armies and all that, but with all those guns, man, I could make short work your team. <clears throat> <sighs> no, half goofa. You gotta get this stuff, man. We gotta level you up, bro. He's only, he's only half goofa. He's not a full goofa, so it's uh it's probably it's probably fine that way, you know. Yeah, like I said tonight, if we can get the legendary thing done, that would be cool. And if I'm here next week for this, then we'll probably do Goblin City. We did get Goblin City exposed. I just want to get a couple more gear pieces and maybe a couple more levels, but 
what I'm going to try to do is we're, was we're going to be... Essentially what I'm saying is we're getting really near the end of this whole playthrough with this, this, with this game in particular. Oh, I should have went for the three-way swing. I didn't see that. Um, but yeah, we'll be done with this one, and we'll move on to something a little different. Maybe we'll play the other game I got. There's some other ones, too. There's uh, XCOM I got to look into to see which one I'd want to get for that. And uh, and other things, too. Plus, we can also reopen up Burgundine again as well. And um, I don't know. Maybe we'll just, you know, switch it around, make it more of a party night in the future. And, uh, you know, with something new or different. Uh, maybe make it a little different every week. I'm not sure. But. Yeah, we are kind of nearing the end of this one here. trap. Let's come over here. Look at how much damage that does. He's near death. Whoever I use this hammer with, basically, like for skeletons, this will, if this hits a skelly, shielded or not, this will kill them. I've seen this hit uh, the Ancient Legionary. So if we go into the final fight with this thing, Hit for 146 damage. It's body hit for 68. This this kills skeletons right here. This this hammer he's got. This is nuts. <laughs> this is a strong damn hammer. So that that's the reason I was trying to get a new character here is because I wanted uh, a little more evasion. This is 40 something without that, but since he's uh, a crusader. You know, the, the resolve and stuff helps out, plus the dodge, too. So, like, you might not think the dodge does a lot, but, I mean, look right here. Nine extra defense, or nine extra evasion. It's almost ten. It's almost an extra 10% chance to, to kind of dodge stuff. Reach advantage, I put that on him. That kind of works, you know, pretty well, too. So, yeah, I need a, a good hammer guy. If you know what I mean. What was that? Oh. He just moved out there. Come on, dude. You can get the hit now. 65 and you didn't kill him? What did you even do? I've got... You, you've got a really, really... You've got a unique spear, bro. Impale hits... Chance 65, 10, body for 27 damage. That's it? You know, I'm starting to think sergeants have some weird extra defense modifier. Because they don't even have a helmet. And when you hit these guys with stuff, it's just like, eh, eh, whatever. You know, and he's not even nimble. Like, he does, it doesn't even say Battleforged. I don't, I don't even know what the hell he is, but like... I would say the spear should have killed him. I mean, what do you think? I would have thought it would have killed him with that. Oh, well. Wow. 
we may have started the Southern War right now, while we're in the middle of the Northern War. They never said the Northern War was over yet. The Northern War with the noble houses are still raging. Nobody ever said it was over. They never said end of campaign. Actually, it never said end of campaign with the Southern War. That that was never. They never gave me an ending for that. I don't know if you've ever. I, I don't know if if people have had that um, happen to them. Chase that guy, right? I don't know if we're going to get him in time. I think we may get... Uh, they might get a runner. Yes! We're going to resurrect a standard bearer to fight for us. A bearer standard. A standard... Yeah. Yeah, one of those. Where's your flag, dude? Ah. Oh. I thought he was going to have a flag. It would have been kind of hilarious. Ah, why did I put myself there? I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we forced the South to fight against the North during the Noble War. I wonder what'll happen. Okay, oh, they're still there. They went back to extremely hostile. I guess we won't really know, will we? All right, well, I wanted to come over here. I need to get some food. I want to see the alchemist quickly here. Get some stuff. Man, I wanted to fight against those those green... Uh, I wanted to fight some green skins with those guys, but... As soon as they see another company, I guess they'll turn around and run the other way. You know? Okay.
<laughs> Ooh, nice. How many blue files do we have? I got two. It's not bad. A large quiver. Some people will need that. There's only one reason I'm doing this. And that's just in case I might need it. Okay, so you got that one, that's fine. In case I have to drop some off because I'm gonna be bringing my archer, my archer's not gonna have any throwing things except for this. My archer's gonna be throwing holy water because apparently, I mean, if it works right, and I don't know, maybe, the, maybe they didn't fix it, with, I don't know, but damage is increased. So if I throw holy water, Shouldn't the damage be increased to holy water? Or fire bombs or whatever with a throwing guy? I want to say it is, but maybe that just means the uh, the weapons themselves. I don't know. But either way, if I give him all the good stuff, I have him throw, it uses a lot less fatigue. So even without that, the skills will build, build up. 25% less fatigue for throwing a bunch of holy water and stuff. So that's kind of the thing. So once I'm out of that, I'm only going to have some arrows, and everybody else is going to have an arrow pack, and whoever's nearest him is going to be able to drop him an extra 14 arrow pack. So whenever, whenever my archer needs arrows, he's going to have it from pretty much anybody on the team here. And so that's sort of the plan there. It just basically means that you know, if one guy does go down, I can't give it from somebody else. Somebody else will be able to just put the arrows on the ground, walk forward. The archer walks on top of him, picks him up, and wham, wham, wham. And I can keep him ranged if I want to. And uh, one reason I do want to is he's got overwhelm. He's he's 158 for initiative. He's really, really good. I could have been... Could have made him nimble, I guess, but I went with Battle Force for this dude. Um, but uh, it, it does help with the dodge, you know, ability and stuff too. And uh, yeah. So he can overwhelm the skellies, he can overwhelm the goblins. Doesn't matter. I mean, this armor is pretty, you know, doesn't really have a lot of fatigue to it, but. Okay, what else can we do? Nope, I don't need that. Probably just going to sell the rest of this here. Do you have? Yes, you do. Thank you very much, buddy. You can have. Don't really need this anymore, except for uh, I could use those. Can make some unhold heart. Food. Sell this stuff off here. All right. Yeah, we need some food anyways. What kind of contracts are we going to get here? Serpents. I can do that. Those are fun. 
Whoa, four grand. What is this? Hunt down what kills people. I can definitely do that one. All right, I want to see. I, I got to check out, just make sure there's no the battle contracts out there, because if there are... Nope, we're still in privateering. They might come up soon, though. Hunting webnecks. Nope. Come on. No, nothing up there. All righty then. <sighs> I don't know who I want to keep though. We just got the barbarian guy. And he might be good, but I don't know. I have to probably play with both of them here. You know, just, I think for tonight, because uh, we already got, we already got the other guy up a few more levels. I think we're going to, we're going to let the indebted fight for us right now. He doesn't have that great of attack. Hmm. But he's got good defense. I don't know. I think he'll be better for the uh, for the upcoming fights here. Get a little more. Get a little more defense, you won't get hurt as much. It's not a ridiculously hard fight, but I mean, well, it is kind of hard, but if he gets hit, if he goes down, I'm gonna never forget it. I'm gonna never live it down, you know? Okay. Put this on this guy here, level him up a bit. Okay, this'll this'll really level him up fast. <laughs> I I love that the one thing I do like the developers to do is they, they increase this into three battles. This you this particular potion I just drank used to be for one battle. And you have to be careful which battle you go into. Usually I would save it for war battles. Or or for big battles or whatever, but Now with three battles, it's kind of like having a uh, training experience, you know? All right. Well, that's great. I did it. Okay. All right, so let's do the bigger one here. Shave her up. If you do, if you like to play the Iron Man mode and that's how you play, that's that's your prerogative. One reason I don't is because, you know, with or without mods, game can crash and has crashed. And lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of time an effort thrown into the trash. All for naught. All right. Lose a kite shield. Ah, latrine duty. Get him out of my sight.
Come across the well in the desert. A man offers you a few buckets of refreshment. Your marking of the water below is unending. With not a single farm in sight, you've reason to believe there is enough water below to slake one's thirst for all time. The man does seem to sense you've other purpose in these parts, though. I take it. It is the Ifrits you seek, is it not? Oh, Ifrits, okay. Can do that. Or is it down here? There's the damn difference. 42. Whoa. I swear I got a... Ah, I won't swear right now. I'll do it later. Sorry if I'm silent sometimes and not playing the game. I'm responding to somebody, and uh, let's get let's let's see if we can drag him somewhere. I'd like to do that. Is he gonna follow me? Oh, we might get to fight some Ifris with some other fun characters. Let's get all the food, if that's the case. Nine days. All right, who can we fight? Well, we could go fight the orc thing. Unfortunately, that's even harder because the orcs enraged do twice the damage. I'd rather not fight orcs with Ifrits. And Ifrits are easy targets for orcs. Goblins, though, that's a different story. Maybe we should do that. Let's go fight one of these gobby places. Then again, I need to leave those goblin places alone for a... Hideout of the Insane Master. Maybe we should go fight the... Fight up there. I don't know. I think Undead would be fun. Ifrits versus the undead. Or is he going to come after me at all? Looks like I got his attention. I gotta say, battles are more interesting this way. Maybe you like this, to play this way or not, but uh, I think you get more experience this way, honestly.
not like my friends, but some some of my friends, you know, sometimes just want to slap them around a little bit. They ask you if you want to talk, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, go. Well, we can talk about here. What do you want to talk about? I. You asked me if I wanted to talk. <laughs> oh. I think they do that because uh, I think they do that on purpose. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight an orc warlord with efforts. That's just giving him an excuse to kick my ass. Everybody all enraged. I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Where are we going? Way over there. Oh, that's going to take a little time. Oh well, time is what we got. I wish the night wouldn't like make them disappear so harshly. Like they, it bar they're barely next to me. I, it's like my guys have horrible, horrible sight. What is this? I mean, we could fight a small camp, but the bigger it is, the better the the prizes, you know. It was a very relaxing day, trundling around in the mountains, in the forest, if it's chasing you down. Through every move, being an Ifrit following you, ready to throw itself at you.
Should we fight the Ifrits in a swamp? <laughs> Considering <laughs> that they're desert creatures. Would that make them even stronger? I wonder. You know what the developers missed? Being able to fight just in water. They, they don't do like the beach or the sandy water or anything. You're just instantly in some zone. But they forgot to put like fighting in water. O only one area you can do that in is, is in the um, near towns or in like the, the southern areas where there's like jungly water. You, you'll, you'll fight in some clear water here. But in the northern places there is no... There, is, there are no water spots. There are no lakes you can fight in or anything like They don't. Just swamp. That's it. It's a little sad. I, I wish you could fight in the water. Oh, looks like they're coming back to roost. We've got a necromancer. Beta gangers, ghosts. This might be a good fight. What? I stopped the damn thing. Ah, uh, I had pause. They didn't hit. They didn't get to me in time. That's no. All right, where were we? Oh wow, we're still here. Okay. All right, let's do this right here. What the? That's one reason I don't do the Iron Man mode too. I can't have fun with three-way to four-way fights. You just can't. You can't pause it. I mean, you can pause it. But to try to get it just right, you might only like randomly get into those situations. So if you want to do stuff like what I'm doing, don't do Iron Man mode. <laughs> You'll barely ever get to do stuff like that. Or in other words, you'll have less fun. And when it comes to a game, you want to have more fun. Not complain with other people like, uh, you know, why this didn't happen and why that didn't happen. A necromancer. Lots of armored Vita Gingers, many fallen heroes, some ghosts, and a plethora of Ifrits. 67 enemies. <laughs> Yay! That's always what I want to see. Alright, which one's going to be the stronger one of this fight? Uh, I don't know. Ifrits are going to like hit hard. They're going to break down the undead. The only difference is we, they got a necromancer there, so necromancer will keep raising them, even though they're dying. So, I'd have to say they're going to be about even. So I think we should probably hit them both at the same time. I think that's probably the best call here. Oh my gosh, lots of spooky ghosts. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Maybe the ghosts will go north. I wonder if the ghosts can scare the Ifrits. I don't know if that's possible. I know you can scare almost anything, but I don't think Ifrits get scared of anything. 
they also don't put up any flags for like moral checks or anything. Oh! <laughs> First shot, insta kill! <laughs> Uses quick shot. Chance to hit ghost, five. Rolls a five. <laughs> Bam! That is a good archer. He had a five. 5% chance to hit. Let's see if he does again. Oh. Wait, I just killed a ghost. Why don't you give me double time? You only gave me one extra shot. I have Berserk on. It has Berserk on, though. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. I probably burned up. Oh, that's right, because I moved up here, too. That's why. That's why. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go north for this guy here. I don't even know where these guys are. There they are. There they are. There they are. Can't even speak straight. First shot of the of the battle. Five percent chance. Kill a ghost. I think we'll get Avemo to go north too. That'll be fine. That will be fine. I think. Ah, oh, there we go. Better adjusting there. Alright, if I sound right, great. And all the new people that are joining me now, thanks for hanging out. Let me know what your Battle Brothers experience is like, too. I'd like to know if this is one of your favorite games. You gotta want a little more, little more of your favorite. Ghosts are going to sit there, I guess. Whoa! Wow, they got there fast. Look at that. How did you get all the way up there? Oh, because you got that thing on you. All right. I don't know. They would like extend your... I guess it does give you an extra turn. Well, <laughs> it worked before. Nope, it didn't work that time. Great. Okay, we're going to have a small squadron go north. The rest of it is just going to push to my right. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> oh, one guy is all I got. That's nuts. That's nuts.
Hey, Jonas, dude. How's, how's it going, man? How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Try to get around that way. Dude, first shot of the night? First arrow shot. Killed a ghost. 5% chance. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. I tried to replicate it, but, you know, obviously 5% chance to work again and again is not always going to be a thing, you know? So we're fighting Ifrits and scary undead ghosts and zombies and necromancers and stuff at the same time. So that is our night. We're going to do... Plus, we're going to try to do a really, really difficult fight later on tonight. Uh, we're trying to do this sunken library. Hopefully, I can get... Uh, Peanut Brain over here up to Battle Forged before we go in there. But if not, and we're getting, you know, close to like 10.30 or something like that, maybe we'll just give it a shot anyways. If somebody goes down, I can give them a potion, you know, get them back up. Uh, doing considering the amount of heavy stuff going on in life, but hope you're doing well. Heavy stuff, oh no. Well, hopefully it's not too heavy. Yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of stuff happening, I understand, man. Definitely a lot of stuff happening. Mm, well, he's over there. I'm going to go over here. Got to see what the efforts are doing, you know. Yeah, man, hope every, you know, hopefully things go well for you, buddy. You know. Oh, the spooky ghosts are coming my way. Except for they're trapped in this little area. There's a, sar there's a sarcophagus there and some rubble. I can't get by. But they can still scare me through the walls. So. Uh, let's do... What do I want to do? You know what? I'll just... I'll give this a shot. See if we can hit him next time, you know? Uh, do I have enough people going north? Not really, no. On Geralt, you can do it, man. Wow. Yeah, John. Sometimes you know, I don't know what's going on in your life with all that, but uh, hopefully it'll it'll get better. I kind of like fighting the efforts with the orcs as my favorite, but it's really scary when the orcs go into killing frenzy after they kill one effort, just one tiny little one too, you know, and then they see red and they just demolish things. Wow, he can still command it that far away. Look at that, John. That Ifrit up there, these packs of Ifrits are more dangerous than my team, according to this Necromancer. So he keeps controlling this guy to fight this one up here. I don't think he's got his uh, thinking cap on. Let's try to shoot off his thinking cap. <laughs> oh, now we got him center mass. <laughs> Pierced leg muscles. Oh, man. Uh, if Twitch public chat is the right platform is all, well, man, you know, it's, it's up to you. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't tell people to like, you know, tell me what's going on in their life and all their problems, you know, but whatever you wish to share, that's your choice. You know, I don't want to over, you know, overburden you with sharing something that's pretty personal. You don't want to, don't want to share. Well, they scared him. I 
I think they're coming my way. They 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 moved forward. They didn't go up, so I gotta kill this ghost. Otherwise, he's gonna try to scare the living bejesus out of me later on. Let's get around here. Yeah, there are things on Twitch, though. People are putting more, like, podcast stuff on Twitch. Which I'm kind of surprised, you know. Is, uh, typically, it's supposed to be for games, but, you, you know, the fact is, if they allow it, you know, it's not so bad. And in some ways, it might be better than YouTube. Because with YouTube, you gotta have... Well... You gotta have so many videos, so many views before you're gonna live stream. And then lately I just looked at because I haven't been live streaming with YouTube in a while. They must have changed their policy too because they sent me a message you're like, You're this is congratulations, Trigger. You're you're available for six thousand something hours of uh live streaming on YouTube. I'm like, wait, wait, I I have an availability for that? I can't just do it. So they must have changed something on YouTube because in the past I don't think they had a, a, a limit. Or, you know, as far as what you could do. But, that's another thing. I had to get some videos on, on YouTube, too. I haven't, uh, I haven't put any videos on YouTube in a, in a while. I do have a lot of videos made. I, I think I'm going to try to get some put up tonight. So, I'll probably have that tonight or tomorrow. Maybe afternoon tomorrow. I'll probably have some of that up. But I do have a ton of Battle Brothers videos. <laughs> I've got like uh, maybe 50, 50 Battle Brothers videos I can put up. So uh, everybody can like, you know, watch that till they're, you know, it's too much. <laughs> but I got to get on some Brigandine stuff too. But I think I'm just going to do some uh, Battle Brothers videos until, on, until the New Year stuff. So, um next month the first of the week of the next month i won't be here if paul wants to play some games maybe he can come over and play on my account so if he does if you do see someone streaming on my channel that might be paul maybe playing some streets of rage or castlevania or something but if not then i don't know i was i was thinking about putting some videos up for some vods on twitch but i that that could I don't know how that's going to work. Essentially, I got a vacation coming up. And uh, after that, then things should be getting a lot better. As far as, like, getting stuff out there. So I had to, I had to, I had to go and register for classes and stuff. I got school that I'm getting re-registered for. I've been out of school for, like, like two Maybe three years now. <laughs> so the whole whole COVID thing just like shot down my whole desire to, you know, go go to do all these classes, and then they've got all these restrictions they're putting on everybody, and it's like ah, I don't know if I want to do any of that right now. So I took a break, and it was a long break. But um, lots of re YouTube recording might used to be quite. A while before it allowed you up to load 15 minutes of footage yeah that was like you know kind of early 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 on and i had to cut down they had some weird requirements at certain times based upon like how many people are following you or watching your stuff and one of my first videos i put out there it the youtube would not allow me to put it up because it was an hour long and the first video I put out was how to fight the eight monk fight in Final Fantasy Tactics without Orlando. And that was one of my first strategic videos I put out there. And uh, YouTube put it in a safe area, but it wouldn't allow it to be viewed. And then it took like a couple of years before I could just, you know, and upload it later. And it's on my older channel. But I did it again. And it's one of my favorite ones because, you know, tactics. Orlando is a lot of fun to play with. I like Orlando. But to be able to beat 
<laughs> to be able to beat certain fights without him, that's a challenge, you know. Those are fun challenges. Uh, yeah, I graduated like five years ago, but I keep on getting told I should get back into it. I don't think further education is something that works for me. Yeah, the thing is, I wasn't going to do that, but um, uh, I got I got a degree in drafting and all that. And so I can do drafting. I've done some structural drawing with a job and stuff like that. Architectural stuff, too. Um, but to get the full architect degree that's that's uh that's about 13 more credits for me now i can get that i was like you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna finish it off you know whether whether i you know go and do a full-on architectural stuff in the future or just you know just make some extra cash you know you know because yeah, it's not too far but you know this my my uh uh, what is it called? Uh, not professor, but the person that helps you figure out your scheduling and stuff. I forgot the title for that. <laughs> but she told me, she's like, well, if you do this, this, and this, you'll have this done next time and you can do this. I'm looking at the time frames. They're all mixing with each other. It's like, I can't even do all that. I can only do two classes. And by the way that they have this all set up, it's going to take me like two or three years. Just, yes, gu guidance counselor. I think it's a guidance counselor. I don't I don't know. It's not. I don't. I don't think it's technically a guidance counselor. Uh, I forgot the name. But, but I guess in a way, yeah, she is kind of like a guidance counselor in a way. Um, but she's like, you could get done in like a year and a half if you do it like this. And I'm like, well, if you got the class, you know, if if I can even, get, you know, if you don't put all the classes at two o'clock in the afternoon, you know, maybe I could do it. Well, they got most of the classes at all mixing with each other it's like 12 to 2 or 12 to 2 or 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 uh one to three <laughs> it's like well that doesn't work for me you know i get you know, I, I can't be in both classes at the same time so so yeah it's gonna take me at least three years uh at least three years and then that depends if i can afford all that too because i'm i'm probably gonna i'm thinking about getting a I'm thinking about getting a house next year, and so that's also another expense I gotta, I gotta try to put together. Because uh, I've always wanted, I, I had a dog when I was younger. I had a, you know, when you're younger, I, I had a campfire pit. You know, I had, I could, you know, if I got a house, I could put a pool in there. I could put in a, I could put in a sauna. I can put in a jacuzzi. I can do all kinds of stuff. That'd be fun. Uh, that I, I, I don't have right now, but it'd be nice if I could get that. And then if I had a house, I could actually have an area to do a green screen with so I can do this without having... Because what you see when I'm putting my green screen up, that's why I don't do a lot. It's because it's a big hassle. It takes me like 15 minutes to set it up right. You know, because I got like a big green screen uh, portable thing you can pick up and move around. And I got to set the lights and... I could probably, it'd be nice to have something I could, uh, have my own, like, work place. My own study for my own stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, not too far off. Sketching classes is definitely a pain. Because the thing is, some classes, too, they're really hard. They're, they're, they're really hard. Plus, also... I gotta get a pool table in the basement. I might even do that. I might set up some cameras for pool in a basement and uh, maybe just stream some pool nights. Because <laughs> I'm a decent pool player. I'm not, I'm I'm not like Minnesota Fats level or anything, but I'm a pretty decent pool player. Can't get basements in Florida. Yeah, I know. I know. Um. Maybe in the future I might get, like, a, a place in Florida. But, you know, I was thinking about this. Since you're in Florida, I was thinking about this, and I wonder if this is a good idea. I was... Because, you know, the, my trip, I'm going down to Florida. Because, you know, I've got family down there. Um, but I was thinking in the future, if I got one of those boats, could I just stay in a boat in Florida for a while? Or would that be too hot? Or do, do they most of them, like... Most boats that are about 40,000 to 50,000, do they have air conditioners inside? 
that would keep the boat cool inside if you wanted to sleep at night or well I, no actually it wouldn't matter really most of the time it's pretty cool at night except for the winter times where sometimes it could get down to 50 but um i was just wondering if they have like an air conditioner from going in the summertime you know what i'm saying if i got a boat would i have to rent it from a harbor master for a while and then i could just go down there and use that i wouldn't have to like get a camper i could just have a boat you know I mean, obviously I'd have to drive down to it, but then I could just drive to my boat, stay there, and drive back. Or at some point I could drive the boat up the Mississippi River, back up to Wisconsin, because the, the Wisconsin River and Fox River all connect pretty close by where I'm, where I'm at. I could probably just swim the boat back up or swim it down. Slept in the boat. I'm sure there's some uh, design for sleeping overnight. Some of them do. Like not, not like, I'm not talking about like some huge yacht, but you know, one of those boats that has that little food area, sleeping area in the in in the bottom. You know, I've seen some of them. I was probably just gonna get one of those. Probably just gonna like uh, buy buy something that's that's used. I I don't think I could buy a new boat. <laughs> and, uh, not the ones that are hundred thousands or whatever, but I might be able to get a used boat for a good for a good deal. Let's try to hit center mass here. Nope. Nope. Missed. How are you getting... Oh, that's right. That's just just a grave. Um, think you can just rent them? Yeah, probably. But I was thinking about buying it because then I could, you know, make sure it's kept up. Uh... I don't know. I was thinking about that. I was I was thinking maybe that's a cheaper way to go. You know, that could be a cheaper way to go just to have a boat, have it as a place cuz I was thinking like what if I got a camper or a sleeper or something like that. That that could work, but then I'm uh, I'm only using it so often, you know. But then if I got like a a boat, then I could take people out on the boat. And also just use it too, you know? Because then it'd be easier on gas in a way, because I, I would think it'd be easier on gas. Like, don't. Would you use a lot less gas than you would if you're driving? I mean, I would think you would because you're just skimming off the water. That's what I'm just asking. <laughs> Are they cheaper on gas? I would think they would be. But then again, if you got a double motored boat. And you're, like, going fast as hell. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I've always wanted a boat, though. When I, like, um, e even at lakes up here in Wisconsin, people would have, you know, they'd, they'd have, uh, they'd have some boats for this and that. I'd always like to drive them around. One, one girlfriend I had, she's like, oh, you like water skiing? I'm like, no, I like... I like driving the boat. <laughs> I don't like I don't like standing on two sticks on the back on the back of the boat and praying that I can stand up. <laughs> I just like to drive it. <laughs> I like to drive I like to drive almost anything really. Anything with a motor. I'm I'm a pretty good driver for a lot of things. Boats are use the same gas as cars do. Boats and cars gas is the price of gas. Gas is a bit cheaper compared to the gas in the marina due to supply and demand, but the big boat ships use different fuels. Depends on the engine type design. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Same gas is supply and demand, so you can get cheaper gas by hitching it on the back of a truck and pumping it at the gas station. I guess so. I guess it would make sense, you know, the convenience of it, you know. Oh, I forgot this little guy. I'm just going to keep shooting the necromancer here. We're going to get him at some point. <laughs> we do have fast adept, so that number is going to keep rising.
Let's see if we can get the ghost here. I don't know what the percentage is on the first shooting at ghosts, but we'll find out. It's like no percent. But yeah, I wondered about that too because uh, the thing is with the air conditioner, like I'm from the north, so humidity is a killer for me. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I don't live in Florida. I lived in Florida for a little bit, but I don't live there now. the The heat, the heat just does it for me. I can handle ridiculously strong amounts of cold air. That's probably because I'm native here, you know? I think it just comes down to like what you get more used to and what you become more of a native of, right? Oh, took care of the necromancer. We couldn't kill the ghost? Oh, that's spooky shit. Is everybody dead? Huh? They're almost dead. We gotta get him leveled up, yeah. Yeah, there were times that... that There were times air conditioning didn't work and... I felt like I was baking inside of an oven. I'd have to go at, I'd have to go to convenience stores to... Uh, to get cool. I'd go to Walmart, go to Target. That's what I gotta tell my parents sometimes when they go down. They wanna find some really, really cheap motels. And it's like, no, I'm not staying at that super cheap motel. It's like it's like, but it is cheaper. And I I get it, it's cheaper, but some of the cheap motels, the air conditioner barely works. And so the whole time you're sleeping, like it's 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 all this huge humidity. It's on I feel like it's on my chest. You know, like they 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 don't always check it, and if I tell them like the air conditioner's not working, and they're like, Well, it's working, you can feel a little cold in there. It's like no, that's that's not that's not cold. <laughs> okay. Well, we killed all of them. Now what? Oh, keep shooting at ghosts, I guess. Do my little spinning move. I keep forgetting about him the whole time. Jeez. Yeah, I don't mind Florida, really. I think some people think I do and all that. Um, uh, just a couple things. Like with every state. Like any state I've been in, there's always something there that, you know, it's, there's there's good things and bad things, really. The, uh, you know, the niceness of, of, of the area, you know, going, to, going to the beaches is kind of fun. But the only things I didn't like was the, uh, the humidity, the traffic, and, uh, customer service. Almost every single time I had any kind of customer service, it was always wrong. <laughs> it was always wrong. It was almost it was almost never right. Like I'd have to actually like write a scribble a note, you know, for them to get it right. Yeah, there's things. Yeah, there's there's things about Wisconsin too that can uh, drive me nuts. Oh man, 
What am I gonna do? Keep forgetting about this guy. <laughs> Eventually, I'll kill him. Or maybe I won't. Chance 95, roll 100. This is a big fight. Huge. You know what? Forget it. We'll throw him into the fire. We'll see if he survives. We're gonna go do the southern thing with with uh, Gerald here. Whatever level he's at, that's that's what we're doing it with. Oh, good. He does have Battle Forge ready. We can. We can oh F and A. That's great. We'll have Battleforge ready. That's perfect. How many people want to see a legendary fight happen? Like right after this one. I'll have to get a little repaired first though. <sighs> this legendary fight we're going to be doing is really it's going to take a little while but it's it's a good it's a it's a fun fight I guess we're going south with him here. Uh, I don't know where he's gonna go. Let's go. Let's go. Mark this guy. You know what's funny, Jonas, dude? <laughs> There's always been a person in my chat that's from Florida. <laughs> I wish I could swing around right now. Florida people are nuts. Ah, uh, yeah, some can be, yeah. There, there are some nice people. I, I met some people in college and uh, when, when I took college in Florida, it was, they're pretty cool people. The weird thing though, is that when I was going to college at the time, it was a time when like, you know, work was rough, hard to find, everything like that. And uh, my college professor, he's like, oh, you better go back up to Wisconsin or wherever the hell it is you came from. You know, that's the only place you're going to find work. And he was right. He wasn't wrong. It was, it, it is a touristy place. So, unless, you know, if you got a touristy job, you know, you can make it work and all that, but... And then there's also jobs you could... The easiest jobs to get are probably just like cutting lawn or spraying for insects or something like that. That's needed like all over the place. Uh, surprisingly, as, as jungly as Florida should be, they cut so much of that grass. I, I find it interesting.
Like if I had a house in Florida, I'd probably just make most of the grass into some kind of like vegetable garden or something like that. You could grow so much food there, man. It's almost never cold, you know? I, I, I would think you could save so much money just by planting and harvesting stuff all the time there. That would be like one of the perfect places, really. Javelins. Oh, we gotta tag you first. Oh, we didn't kill him. That's disappointing. Let's put you over here. Kill the big one. Why is he why is his flag going up? If you get a nice property, uh, you could even have just some simple thing too, you know, right? Right? I mean, uh, like, how much do you would you think you need? I I saw this guy. I think he's a YouTuber, and uh, he knows all the different kinds of uh, southern fruits and vegetables and things like that to grow. And I think he just decided. He just said he wanted to live off the land. So he just. I don't know if it was his house or his friend's house, but either way he turned the entire lawn front and back into like wild garden and he was able to live off the vegetation there for a year i think he just wanted to prove a point i was like oh my gosh that'd be that'd be the easiest way to do it too you know you just get a bunch of land you could grow all kinds of stuff you know but but that's what i want to do when i get uh I get a house here, I'll be able to grow. But obviously, only for so long, you know, because uh, you know, Wisconsin's a cold state here. But I think you can get more property in, in Wisconsin than you can in Florida. It depends, too. Like, the more the closer to the beach, obviously the prices are rising up pretty high. But if you go into the marshlands of Florida, like, there's some really dirt-cheap areas. I... I looked at some lot areas. I'm like, holy cow, 17,000 for that? It's all still jungle for the most part, and it's probably flooded in some areas. <laughs> but I've been looking at land in different areas, too. I even looked at lands that were, like, way up in Canada and stuff, and uh, or close to Canada. Like, way up in Minnesota, they've got some land. I, I saw 300 acres uh, available for, like, I don't know, it was, like, 90,000, 90,000 for 300 acres. And a portion of it is some swamp land or some marsh or whatever, but it's like all hunting ground, you know? And so like, it depends on which areas you go to. You can get some fantastic deals. You really can. I, I don't know if it's just now, but you know, and I was looking, I'm like, whoa, that is a lot to play with. You know, you could do a lot with that. Uh, I know a lot of people are here with a big property starting investing in farming stuff. Not necessarily farms, but I got a friend who grows his own honey to make alcohol and has a chicken coop. Wait, you know Nice Hero? <laughs> <laughs> nice Hero, you in the chat, man? <laughs> nice Hero drinks uh, a lot of, uh, well, he was here, or I think he's still here. He's drinking like a honey liqueur half the time. Those are good, though. Um, as a chicken coop, but they couldn't do that in their old property. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's cool. I do, man. That's it's a very healthy thing. It's a natural health thing. Like, you know, like they they talk about. Um, well, I mean, the simple fact is, and they probably don't want to say it, but like it, with with the vaccine shots and the and all that, they're technically booster shots. So they're, they're, and they're, I think they're called therapeutics. So therapeutic would be something like honey, you know. Helps your immune system. You know, and that's something I heard too. Like you go to a new place, 
you go to a new place, new state, country, whatever, buy some local honey, especially if you've got allergies, because then when you ingest the honey, it helps your immune system, but it also gives you all that extra pollen and stuff that's from the local area. And because you have that in your system now, now you're not going to be as weak to the, uh, the pollens and stuff uh, based upon what's in that area. But uh, honey is a, uh, one of the most natural, effective things for your immune system. Like e even I, I had a, th there was a yellow jacket hive just outside my, just outside my window. And you know what ate that? Some blue jays came by and they ate all the, the little, the wax and the insects and probably the honey that's in there and, and stuff. They ate all that stuff. I don't grow my own honey, but I do grow my own strawberries for strawberry honey. Oh, so you grow the strawberries. I see. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. I wish I could have some of that. Now, the best hunt, the best honey meat I've ever had is from Bunarati, Bunarati Castle in Ireland. And they, when you go there, they call it Folk Castle or Folk Castle. It's, uh, you know, it's it's for their area. But that stuff is awesome. You might be able to find that in a liquor store. And if you find a liquor store and it comes with a little wax seal on the top and it looks like a jug of honey. Oh my gosh, it's 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 a honeymoon drink, but damn, it's good. Um, good stuff. Yeah, at, if I get a house, I could probably try growing some stuff and I... I'd like to do that. I had, a, I had a few of my relatives that were farmers, actually. One of them was a farmer for a, quite a long time until they finally sold their farm. They got old and, you know, their kids didn't want to do it, so they finally sold off their farm. But I remember being little and, uh, you know, going go and meet my cousins, and they'd always have, like, fresh fresh milk right from the cow, you know. All kinds of stuff. Some tractor rides, you know, that was fun. Found a snake in the grass at one point. Put it in a glass jar. And it died. <laughs> you know, just kid memories, I guess, but... I don't know if I could do the whole farm thing. I just I just want to grow a couple things, you know. Well, I'll tell you this much, this battle is definitely giving us a lot of experience, so I think we'll be ready for a good a good sunken library fight. So if it's a nice hero and everybody, you want to see a, a legendary fight, you're going to see that tonight. And I'm also going to save this and put it on YouTube. I'm going to try to clip just the part for it because this will probably be like four hours long, but I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll put the whole thing out there. Who knows? Depends if it works. I might have to put the whole thing out there because YouTube is trying to clip things on YouTube is... Uh, uh, it just takes a long time. You know? Gotta try to get some sleep. I've been needing to be awake in the morning and likely for the next few weeks. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Aria John, this dude, thanks for coming by, man. Uh, hope your situation gets better. And uh, have a ha have a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. I don't know what you celebrate, but um, you know, have a have a good next holiday weekend thing coming up here. I can't talk right now. I got indigestion. I don't know why. I don't know why that is.
I wish you'd just stay there and let me fight you. So, Nice Hero, do you know anything about the uh, the sunken library as far as the legendary fight here is concerned? Or anybody else in the chat, in case you don't know what that is. Okay, well that's a new addition for this DLC here. And essentially you find a ancient library. I would have to say this is either the Alexandrian library or some secret library. But the essentially the story behind this, if you didn't know the story behind this, I can enlighten everybody into the story because it's been some time. If you don't want to know about the story for this... Uh, just mute me for about five minutes, I'll go over the story, and I'll tell you the intricate parts of the story for this game. So starting now, I'll tell you the story. So essentially, uh, you... They, they always hint towards this, but in every scenario, they always hint towards you being the, uh, the false king. Which essentially means you are the reincarnation of the, the old emperor of Rome. Whichever one, I don't know which one it is, but uh, every time there's the undead outbreak, there's this woman you're in bed with, you don't, you don't know who she is or anything like that, but she knows you, and you're seeing Rome kind of for the first time. Later on, you go through all the undead s scenario sequencing, and uh, she asks you a question at the end, and you can either tell her, no, I wasn't, I, I wasn't the... Uh, I, I was the false king. I wasn't uh, the true king, and she'll cry and she'll be like, "Yes, yes, I know," and she'll still love you anyways. Or you can tell her that it's going to be okay. She asks you some questions, you know. But one of the interesting questions that you can ask her is, "Who was the ugly man?" And she says, "I should never have trusted him." And you find out later on when you talk to a witch or a hexen that. Um, and she gives you this hexen blade once you kill these other hexen. Is that uh, she senses you are from the past, like your blood, your bloodline. So essentially, like you're either the reincarnation of this person, or you're just the the lineage of that person that lived long ago. It's likely one of the two, maybe both. But she senses that you're from a long lineage of of powerful people. You know, and so that's essentially what happens with that. And so the witch tells you about your past and tries to tell about your possibilities of the future and stuff like that. So she leads you into that. And later on, you find out that the um, uh, when you're asking about the ugly man from the woman that you're sleeping with in the dream sequence, when you're uh, finding out, you know, that the uh, the undead are rising and all that in the dream sequence, it comes to you, you come to realize that. Uh, I can't remember where I found this from, but I think I either I either found this out myself or or somebody figured this out. But uh, the ugly man sacrificed your child so that you would resurrect and raise again. So he basically, much like the Hexen do in here, they tried to steal the firstborn's child, sacrifice them to uh, live longer or whatever, and uh, y you know use their. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting, but you know. Uh, you know, kill the firstborn, live longer, uh, so they would get, like, this potion that would give them, you know, rejuvenation and all that. But in the dream sequence, uh, you find out that she trusted this ugly man because this ugly man said that he could help them live 
longer or live forever and you give your child over to this guy and he sacrifices your child in order to resurrect the dead in the future. And so now it's the future and the dead are raising from the dead, you know, for the ground, but it's the ancient Roman soldiers that are raising from the ground. And it's because of the ancient Roman emperor's uh, wife making a deal with a necromancer. And essentially that's kind of how that all comes to play. That's kind of why you fight the undead in here. And, uh, and that sort of thing. But whether you're really a reincarnation or you're the, uh, just a part of the bloodline, you're like the great, 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 great grandson of that guy. That's to be just, you know, to be tested and, and try to figure out that that that's the hard thing to try to figure out. But it does seem like they do mention the reincarnation idea a lot. So that's why it just leads me to believe that. But essentially, that's kind of the story of the game. And so all these ancient things that come about, this ancient library and these ancient uh, other things, that they all tie together in some way. Ancient library essentially has the book of the Necronomicon in it. And later on, you're going to find out somebody wants to take the book of Necronomicon away from me and give me something else. And my team doesn't really know what the book does. And neither do they really care because we're just playing mercenaries. So we just hand over the Necronomicon. I'm probably going to give it to him for a shield. Uh, there's some other things you can get from him too. But I'm probably going to take the shield. Because the shield's pretty good. And uh, I think he, the person I'm trading with, might be the person that sacrificed the Roman uh, Emperor's son. And he might have found a way to live forever. Very much like how they have the bull Noil fight in Brigandine, you know, nobody really knows who bull Noil is and all that. Everybody wants to guess who he is. He's a necromancer. So he resurrects things from the dead, which means that either he is also dead himself in an undead, undying state, or he just found a way to not die. But essentially that's kind of what necromancers and all that, that stuff are kind of about. So, so the game is based upon the idea that Rome wanted to live forever. They wanted to rule forever, you know, and they were very powerful. And the, the game talks about them like owning pretty much all the land everywhere. And, uh, you know, so when the when Rome resurrects from erupts from the ground, you know, it's it's because of the spell that happened long ago. Now, I guess the spell had some kind of timeline on it as to when that was going to happen again. But then again, there are stories where during the middle of the gameplay here, they'll talk about the fact uh, they had this massive war long ago against uh, the un I think it was the undead, but they also have the wars against the Greenskins. Which I find interesting, like, how do the green... One thing I don't understand about this game is how do the green skins fit in with this game? Because I would think that... I would think that the, the Roman... The Rome would have had to fight them at some point. You know, because I would think the green skins would have been there alongside the Roman uh, uh, military, but we don't really know. So that's the part that confuses me. But everything else kind of makes sense. It's all adding up. And so the ancient library, I think it was the uh, the library where the necromancer that was the, the bad guy that kind of started the whole thing lived. And he had the Necronomicon because this essentially, it's, that's the book they give you. They call it the Black Book, but you look at the book, it looks just like the Necronomicon from <laughs> the Army of Darkness. It's got the face on it with, you know, bound in human flesh, inked in human blood. It's got the same stuff on it. I'm like, oh my gosh, they just took that right from Army of Darkness. And uh, maybe Army of Darkness took that from something else. I don't know, but, you know, I find it kind of interesting. Um... But yeah, uh, she made a deal because she wanted to live forever with her, with her husband, and I don't think she understood the what the deal was going to be like. They lost their kid. They never had a prodig progeny. The empire fell. 
Years later, they came back as the undead. Uh, orcs live in this world somehow for some reason. I don't know the, the story behind that, but green skins and goblins and stuff. I, I wonder if they're if it's some kind of other type of lore where they're like, they sort of did it with dragons and stuff, and and then they had, you know, humans and humans and dragons intermixed, or there was some magic involved. I don't know the story behind that. Ooh, look at this. Decayed coat of scales. I think this is the first time I ever saw that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've seen decayed decayed coat of full plate, but I've never seen the scales there. But yeah, the story is kind of deep with that, but it always leads you to believe that you are like the chosen one, but you're not in the battle. You're just commanding the people in the battle you know it's never about it's never about the little toy soldiers you got on your team you know they they'd have a they have this little story here and that's that that's their little story you know for each of these characters so so even though i name myself after one of these guys uh the person that's in charge of your company is the one that is the one that was the a reincarnation or of the lineage of the old Roman Empire. And which Roman Empire was it? I have no idea. They just don't talk about that. So, all right. Well, we got some pretty cool stuff there. That's one reason I like to do it. We get, uh, some, we get a lot of treasure. A lot of experience. Okay, Gerhold, buddy. Please, please, please. Let's get some Battle Forge for you, bro. Oh, thank God. We finally are up to... We're at least at 60. 60 for attack. That'll do. It's not the best, but it'll do. Okay. Battle forged. I don't know. We're, our, fatigue, our fat is still really low. But we made it to 21. And, you know, so far this guy was doing okay at 21 for a while. Hopefully he'll survive. All right. So essentially that's what the story is about the library. The uh, the black monolith holds the conqueror who was the Roman Empire. So it's either your evil spirit you're going to have to fight in the black monolith or it's actually the original guy. And you're just like the son of the son of the son, you know? And you're fighting your father from long ago as a dead man, you know, because the Conqueror is a, a skelly. You know, he's they're all undead in the Black Monolith. In actual lore, when you look at the Black Monolith and you look at uh, these black stone tombs, like even uh, people trying to open up and see what's inside, those black stones that were meant to seal, seal somebody away forever... That's what they're meant to do. They're not meant to be opened up. So when, they, so when they talk about the curse of this or the curse of the mummy or the curse, these tombs where where these people were interred, if they were interred within a within like a black tomb of some kind of black material, it's it's meant to keep them there because they were some kind of great evil and they were meant to be uh, uh, hidden away from the world forever so the black monolith is kind of the same thing you know it's um black monolith is here a pitch black monolith that towers over the surrounding lands emitting a bale baleful aura no living being dares drawing close to it and it was these things were meant to and this is before i even like really put it all together but uh, i think there was a tomb that it was full of some kind of black stone. It was made out of some kind of black stone. These things were meant to be forgotten. Buried away and forgotten. It's like burying your evil. And uh, forgetting about it so it doesn't get unleashed upon the world. And uh, so, you, so you're not supposed to open these things. <laughs> Essentially is what you're not supposed to do. So when you open it, you return the conqueror back to the world of the living. And if you don't kill him... You die, and then, like, he's back in the world again. You know what I'm saying? 
So this is like the last thing to fight because, you know, that's what most of the game's about is this old emperor and stuff. He, and the dead can keep raising because this necromancer, he paid this necromancer uh, his own son to allow it unknowingly, I think. I don't think the emperor knowingly did that. Um, but they, yeah, then you got the goblins and you got all the houses go to war with each other. Yeah, so then you got um like like right here. Right here, nice hero, here's the uh ancient statue of the conqueror. Huge statue glistening in the sun that towers over the surrounding landscape. If you read the lore on the ancient statue, this will help you understand so much, but they, they try to make it surreal. They try to turn it into like a Castlevania series where you can go in different dimensions and you know, see into space and time and stuff. And I mean they get really trippy in this game. It's like if you were <laughs> <laughs> if you're a person that like to trip out, you know this game would do it. It would do it to you, especially with some of the the lore. Um, but the ancient library is right, or the sunken library is right here. And uh, we'll find out more when we get to it. We're actually going to go to this place. I just have to make sure we're all bandaged up and not hurt too bad, because I want to I want to repair the armor before we get there. Looks like it'll be. Just long enough that we should be able to get set. Now the other thing about this too, playing the Peasants Militia, is that I don't know if anybody has to become mad after reading the Black Book in order to trade it with the other guy. I think it did happen in my other file when I first initially played the Peasants, but maybe they changed that and nobody has to get mad because... The only the person that typically in all the other files you can read it is a historian or some other dude or um yeah a historian or what was the other guy musician no it's a historian or minstrel i think it was one of those two guys either way you you can't get those guys in uh in this version here oh wait no you think you do get a you do get a minstrel here to start the game, but if he dies, you'll never get another one. Because I had a loot. Every time you start the peasants up, uh, you get one guy with a loot. Which I think he's the he's the mu musician there. So. Let's get back to Al Anwar. And we'll go do the sunken library. Was that too much, Nice Hero? Did I explain that correctly? I hope I did. Um, it's a complicated story. Every time you meet this this place or that place or this place or that place, they give you a little bit of the background, and it almost adds up to something, but then it does seem a little bit confusing after a while. But once you play the game for a while, you kind of understand like what happened and uh, and what you're really a part of. Like For the most part of the game, most people playing a game just lollygag around, don't even know the backstory to it. Doesn't make any sense to them. They they don't care, and it's just about mercenaries making money, <laughs> for the most part, <laughs> you know. But once you learn about the backstory, the history of this game, it's like wow, that's that's really 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 deep. Like why is why is that so deep? I don't know, but it's interesting. Maybe that's why this game was kind of popular, is because there was a deep background that uh, people couldn't figure out. So, anyways. Buy one more of these. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to get some more holy waters. We'll get four of those. <laughs> We're throwing holy waters at people today. <laughs> And the reason I put that mod in there with that is because you get no monks with the peasant militia. So it's like, well, that kind of sucks. You get no monks to craft holy water. How are you going to fight the undead as peasants? Yeah, you got a couple more guys, but they all suck compared to all the other guys. All the other guys in all the other scenarios are just way better than most of the... I think the only thing that comes close is fishermen and farmers. But even then, they like get a militia man or get... get uh, a retired swordsman or any of those kind of guys will just pretty much just 
beat these other these other bros that I got on my team here as far as stats. It's way better stats, way better stat growth. Sell that. Yep, that's fetching a good price. Make some cash there. 425. Okay, I'm gonna keep all that there. Now what? Now what we gotta go try that out. If we die, we'll try it again. Uh, a different week, but if we survive, that'll be cool. Oh, you know what? I should do. I hope everybody has like ranged stuff here. Wait, right, don't tell me. Oh, I sold some of my bows for some other armor piece. That's right. I don't have those. I don't have any extra bows. Yeah, I was wishing I had some extra bows here. Ah, so I can shoot stuff from a range. Wish I would have kept at least a few of those. Alright, well, I'll have to deal without. So I got one for you. I got pretty much three ranged guys. Should work out. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to do a lot of damage. Actually, you're not going to be able to hit hard at all. Uh, all right, I'm going to give you some holy water, buddy. Not like that. I wish it would. Th I I wish I could click and it would throw that into inventory here. But oh well. Got a little doggy with us. That'll be good. Uh, we got a ranged axe. That's what we'll probably need. Uh, okay. I have a lot of throwing items with him. I think I'll keep him with the throwing items just for now. You know, we might need a smoke grenade for some reason. I'm trying to think it's possible. Okay, you got some of that. I don't think I'll need another sword.
There are some enemies in this dungeon, but there's not a, an amazing amount. There will become an amazing amount, though, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe the acid will work at some point. I don't know. We'll have to see if we use that. I wonder if I should bring slingshots. I don't know if my accuracy is going to be any good anyways. Well, I did want some bows. So I could just move around and, and notch, take out some of those ranged things without having a... Yeah, okay. okay. It's not that great. We'll see if it actually does any damage. I, don't, I can't say at all if it's going to be worth it at all. But 81... Eighty-one percent for ranged, and he could be a decent shot. Everybody's got an arrow pack anyway, so it doesn't matter. I got four arrow packs. Uh, I don't know if he's going to need another sword. I think we could probably fit some acid into there. Got a couple extra swords lying around. Man, I got. <laughs> They keep throwing these things at me like candy. This is one of those things you'll get in the future. And I, I gotta say, if you're gonna play Battle Brothers in the future, keep these cruel red knives, whatever these you, these are called here. These are little... Uh, these are unique swords or rare swords that you find from goblins. The great thing about them is you put them in your backpack. They only weigh two fatigues, so it only costs you one fatigue point to actually have that. So in case your sword breaks or you need a different kind of weapon, well, there you go. You can even do it with the spears too, but I, I like the swords because uh, rep repost is uh, is quite a good skill, especially being able to do it for uh, on the cheap, you know? So this really like cuts back your fatigue so you don't over fatigue in a lot of ways. Because over fatiguing is, uh, well, it's not fun. All right. Uh, let's see how much how long of a drive is gonna take for us to get there Cause this thing's in the middle of the uh, literally right in the middle all right let's restock up we'll go to Kudam and uh, then we'll get for, we'll get there from there we'll just do it like that hundred. 20 We are going to get there tonight. We are going to do it. Hopefully we'll win, too. It's a kind of a tough fight. I'm not fully geared up yet. Like, I don't have everybody at full max strength as far as all rare or unique gear. We're pretty close. We're, only, we're like five armor pieces off and three helmet pieces or two helmet pieces off. As far as weapons, though, I think we're all legendary for our weapons right now. So it's okay there. <sighs> oh, crap. What in God's name is this? I've never seen this before. A five-pack of lindworms and a four-pack of lindworms is roaming around right there? I've never seen two full pack, two packs of linarms roaming around. Well, they're not coming after us, so.
Oh, another another uh, hint is that if you want to take one of the militaries from the south to fight the Lindworms, it's a bad idea. The northern packs are better. Southern packs try to kick dust in their face, but they don't have the hit points to handle the shots from Lindworms. I mean, I've seen them get shell-shocked and stuff. They can kill a couple of them, but most of their army goes down fast. <laughs> nope, don't need that. Okay, we're going to be in the desert for a while, so I'm just taking all the stuff. We might have to dodge a couple things, who knows. There's dragons out here, it seems. Here we go. We're going to go fight the sunken library. We're going to go ahead and uh, give it the old college try. Actually, no, we're not going to give it the old college try. We're going to give it the new trigger try, which means we're going to succeed. I hope. I believe. I believe we will succeed. We can't fail. Good. We're going to have to fight at dawn. We attack at dawn. Well, we attack at midday. All right. Let's make sure we're retrofitted first before we before we jump in there. Just want to double check. Yep. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh my gosh. I didn't get everything perfect. Good thing we're double checking. I put some dogs on here because. Well, I mean, because, you know. We don't need the orc trophy in here for obvious reasons. I could put the wolf on my team, but I don't know if I. <laughs> I don't want to lose him in here. <laughs> He's, uh. I, I, I like having a wolf on my team. I think that's awesome. I don't want to have to lose him in this fight, you know? All right, I think we're ready to go. Sunken library, the shimmering in the sun. Golden domes peer out of the sand and give away that something larger lies dormant here, sunken and buried under the sand for ages. As you approach, the shine and shimmer is so bright that you almost think the Gilder himself has ordered you a proper visit. Unfortunately, or fortunately, what you've stumbled across is actually a great gilded dome protruding ever so slightly from the sands. Immediately you test if you can pull some, some of the gold away, but it has no give. 
half gulfa calls you over to a slab of stone which is gapped. Perhaps a bell tower at one point? Light fades quickly and you can see very little inside. Above the entryway, a relief depicts men pulling carts of scrolls. There's a set of words repeatedly scrawled across the relief. Now, none of the languages look remotely familiar to anything you've ever seen, heard, heard or seen. It takes a bit of time until you can find a hurriedly etched translation left by someone approximately up to your era. The library, the labyrinth of the night, the labyrinth of the mind. Leave here as you would leave a dream. Tread here as you would tread a dream. Leave to dwell upon the horror of not knowing. Enter to be one with knowing, and in knowing the dream, know the nightmare. Fair bit ominous, fair bit ominous, Captain, but if you want to go down in there, we got the rope and torches to see, for, to, see to it. Half Golfa tells you this, and a look on his face suggests he's hoping you decline the proposition. Now, see what they're saying right there? Tread here as you would tread a dream. Leave to dwell upon a horror of not knowing. This this has to do with the dreams that you've had with the undead before. This all ties together. And uh, enter to be the one with knowing. And in knowing the dream, know the nightmare. The nightmare of the uh, dead coming back to life. Everything is everything has to do do with that. So this this sunken library is a part of the uh, the evil. Repel down into the dark. The climb down was a perilous one. The dark, so thick you can't even see your own boots. But eventually you hit a marbled floor and quickly light up some torches. You find yourself in a massive hall around which spiral rows of books and bookcases. Every shelf is adorned with piles of scrolls. Many dwellings within the glass enclosures. Shelves are stacked up upon each other and seem to ascend the very ceiling from which you descended. Rolling ladders rest at each level, but even further up runs a floating mezzanine with metal chutes stationed here and there. It seems as though once upon a time one was meant to pass these scrolls up and down through, though now everything is rusted and the mezzanine has collapsed in parts. Sean the Shanker calls your attention. He points to an enormous scroll flattened behind a sheet of glass, drawings sprawled over the paper, and upon closer inspection appears they are blueprints for seemingly everything, the human body, the bodies of many animals, castles, towers, windmills, ships, weapons and armor and boots and gloves, alignments of the stars, and a great number of drawings of which you have never seen before. Things which don't make sense. Captain, this place is not meant for us. The languages, the halls, we should go. One of the cell swords expresses the mood in the air. You have an absolutely you have absolutely trespassed to a place few have gone before. And if they had have gone before, where are they? A place like this surely can't stay hidden, right? What was that noise? Interlopers in a library. The voice scratches along the marbled floor and rises up to meet your ears and continues on. The word library. Slithering into the dark behind you, suddenly another number of glass cases begin to glow. The philosophies holding some sort of ethereal energy, and as the light widens, it unveils the torso of a black skeleton, its body captured in air. The ribcage holds a book. Hooked into place by the sickly folds of its own ribs as a spider would clutch a meal, the skull of the creature stares at you with peerless sockets. Your kind has already stolen from me. Now you dare profane these halls again? The philacerties grow brighter, and in turn a skeleton's torso grows flesh. Weeds of vein and pulp of skin blossoming outward to cover bone but it is only the torso which is in ensconced 
you stare at the Philacities, and they are brimming with energy now. And in staring, you can see the ghost, ghostly faces smearing along the glass like streaks of rain. You hear a loud clap and turn back to see the lore master in full. Its eyes aflame with white fire, its limbs skinny yet with smoky muscle. Winding around its frame, its lower half is plumbing with black ash as it glides forward. The brighter the glass bulbs get, the stronger and faster it becomes. Fight for your lives. Fight, fight like you've never fought before. Okay, this is going to be quite a spooky fight. All right, I don't know if I need a gun for this, but uh, we'll see about that. We got, we got some holy water to start with. <laughs> We're going to have some fun with that. Now, what was I going to do with you? I guess I'm, I guess we're going to go around in different ways. One is going south. One is going north. I think I'll take the archer south. You, my friend, are going north. We're going to find these things first and break them. And then we're going to have to deal with the guards. Just want to make sure we got some... Uh, might set some stuff on fire. Gotta see what we got. Oh, you know what, Gunhilder? You're going south too, so it's going to look weird. He's got a tiny little crap bow, but he's going to go south. Got to find these things, we got to break them. Maybe I should take two, two north and two south. That might be the better way to do it. Just so we got people covering all of our bases. That might be the good way to do it. Oh my gosh, there's a lore keeper right there. Holy crap, right in my face. Where's all the other guys? I was like... So here's a lore keeper. I think this is the necromancer. And there was a jug right next to him. Sir Carrot the Mighty. Crunchiest. Come over here, buddy. Alright, nice hero. You know, you know what? Nice hero doesn't really have to be in this fight. Nice hero could actually go out by himself and kind of lead the way here. So we'll have three going north, but one will be kind of all by themselves because nice hero can, you know, has got a lone wolf on, so he should be fine by himself. Hopefully. Darka Darka, do you got some holy water? You sure do. All right, we're going to just act like a shield to start. Uh, Sean the Shanker. I wonder if we should have three north and three south. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. We don't have a lot here. I mean, it says 26, but I'm not seeing a lot of enemies right now. It does that damn miasma stuff, too. Oh, well, well, well there you are. Well, they signed up to die first, I guess. Oh, 
wait. Oh, 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 that's right. Okay, so I'm going to go north with you. Got to try to figure out who's doing what right now. I guess this space is free. Burn them alive to start. Oh, I don't have the points, do I? Okay. You know what? Actually, it's not bad. If we keep moving around, they'll follow me and I'll kill them as I'm uh, moving around here. Nice here is going to lead the uh, charge. He's going to he's going to cover the corner flank for the crew. Do holy water. Should I splash this guy with holy water right now? Okay, cool. Didn't do that much. No? Did that kill him? Ah, pissed him off. <laughs> okay, uh, we got... Okay, Sean the Shanker should come back. We need to send the other guys out here. Or Sean the Shanker could uh, just take care of this guy right now. I was kind of hoping for more more skellies to come my way. Uh, let's let's wait his turn. How many people I got going south? I don't barely have anybody going south, do I? Good, we got two of them here. <laughs> yes, please stand in the fire. <laughs> now what sucks is they're, they're getting close to him. They, they're going to guard him, but he's, he's staying like right next to me here. I didn't hit him either. Aww. <laughs> I think we should burn him too, right? Oh, hey, hero. <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, so which XCOM to get where you're interested in? I'm not sure, man. I have to look at them all. I didn't get a chance to look at all. What in the God's name? You hit carrot that hard? Oh, jeez, that sucks. All right, no flash these over there. Might have to bring guys back.
Oh, I could put out the miasmas too. Why did I try that? Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to. Um, I'll have to look at some of them, man. I don't. I don't really know. I think you said something about seven or something. Jeez, my asthma's everywhere here. Let's get the hell out of there. Carrot's gonna back up, man. Why did Carrot take that much damage? I don't get that, man. I don't think I'll hurt myself that much. I think I'll be able to dodge it. Wow, oh, cool. And didn't get hurt. Alright, this will stop him and his assault. Gotta kill these pike guys. Okay, so nice hero. You know what, nice hero? You're gonna you're gonna have to help out this this uh this guy right here for now. Just, I don't want him getting two double team you know? I got him out of the way. Alright, Lou. What to do with you, Lou? I guess over there. Uh, XCOM Chimera Squad was good, except for most important feature of other XCOM, which is naming your soldiers. Ah, uh, yeah, I like naming. I like naming guys if I can, you know. All right. Well, I don't want to jump into an area that has miasma and fire. I don't think that'll be fun. Or it's got fire here. Uh, let's see. What else do we have in our arsenal? We has more fire. <laughs> we can create a whole plethora of fire. I think I'll just burn it all down. Why not? They want to come over here, they can burn. I like that idea. Was I stunned or something? Why did Carrot just sit there? Why did Carrot sit there and not move? Oh, he was... That's right. What am I thinking? That's right. Yeah, I like naming stuff if I get the chance. You know, it's more fun that way. Um, I'm thinking... No, he's just going to stay there. We'll just, we'll just burn these guys up here, I guess. Let's burn these two guys here. Alright, Altasins, back to the sword, bro. Fire and holy water damage. Gotta love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take double. Sucks. They, yeah, they do come back here. All right, we are going on a journey. All right, Neo, do we have to stay in a miasma? I don't think we do. Let's back away for a second. Mara squad not aiming soldiers. One thing that sucks about this and it's really hard is that they keep reviving these guys. 
So you think I just killed them once? They'll keep coming back. An unbelievable amount of times. It's It gets ridiculous. It gets ridiculous. Um, maybe I'll just burn these guys from here. One great thing about Veracity and Altison is you can pretty much just one-shot most of these guys. And go and just crush them. You see do you see the power of this? Ancient harness plays hit for 164 damage. They only have 60 hit points. And this sword or this this axe, this is the bar this is the uh King of the North this is the King of the North axe here. 85 to 100. 64 penetrates. 150 effect. This is a really good axe. That, the hammer, we got some good stuff that could just, just penetrate and just crush. They might be moving around with us to try to keep us from getting stuff, but I, I'm not worried about it really. We gotta break all these uh, jars. Gotta open these jars up here. And Geralt is the newbie. He wants to. We're gonna throw holy water at these guys if they get too close to this guy here. Yeah, go back into flame. Why didn't you go back into flames, dude? Aw. Uh. Oh my gosh. Lucky hit. Perfect timing. <laughs> All the other X kinds of place are let you have named soldiers though. So there are still plenty of good options. Oh that's cool. Do you see what I'm doing here, man? I have to look I why this why this is hard? I have to go around the entire board, break these flacerdies everywhere, and then kill this guy at the end. Before I did it where I killed him first and he goes nuts. And he makes a bunch of ghosts of himself and all that, and it gets weird. He'll probably still do it, but I gotta break these Philacerdes in order for him to not have another spirit to come out of. Because in the past, what they tried to do, especially with uh, King Solomon and stuff, is they would try to trap... I, I don't know how, if they have different ways of trapping ghosts. It's a little different than Ghostbusters, but they would try to trap a spirit or a demon in a, a, a water jar. And it, uh, according to King Salmi, did he'd have them uh, do his bidding and, and stuff like that. I gotta find a good way to use my gun here, if there is one. Let's see here. No, it's only going to work that way. He only has a club. Oh, I could hit this guy too. Very good. Kill the bastard. I'm gonna be careful with the carrot. Carrot's already hurt by quite a lot. Alright, Peter, you're gonna have to start working out, man. You got good. Wait, I, I couldn't get it. Oh, that sucks. I can't get any more with that.
Oh, there's one. Any ghost gets nearby, I'm throwing holy water at him. <laughs> One down. 20 more to go. I don't know how many more there are here. I know, I know there's a lot, though. Ah, crap. Somewhere on shelves here. So one's going to go this way, one's going to go towards the center. We're going to have to change a couple things. Oh, so you did that. All right. I need to, I need to try to get a hit here with this with with this that gun is going to take forever. Good. You're kidding me, I did 80, I rolled 82. Good, 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 good. Get out, thank you. Okay, we're gonna have to be, uh, Kind of careful here. All right, carrot. Your your carrot's just gonna stay back here. What? You're already spawning ghosts. Did you change the damn game again? Fucking hell. You don't need that right now. I forgot how far these things go. Oh crap, they're all over the place now? Oh no! Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, time to put out a doggy. Why are you going towards the middle? You're supposed to protect me, you stupid dog. <sighs> if I had a ranged attack, I could break it, but I don't. Oh crap. Oh, he has a dog. That's right. Okay. Uh Oh my god.
Wow, that really lit everything up. <laughs> That's huge. Oh, crap. <laughs> Good. At least he can keep himself, uh... Come on, let's see the whole top thing there. sucks is you gotta kind of sacrifice some dogs for this believe it or not I don't know how many dogs is appropriate to bring in here I, I, I wouldn't say all dogs but you know all right I'm gonna try shielding this I'm gonna see if that takes even ex extremely less damage I I don't know but Oh, I can put out a dog here. You know, you know, I ah, oh, I don't want him going after this though. So I want the dogs going after the flaming skulls, not not the main soldiers there. That's that's uh, they'll easily die from the soldiers. I don't want them to you know die that way. Okay, we got a two-hander, basically just. Not much, not a lot of reach advantage there, but. You're kidding me. It's gonna take that long to kill that thing? Oh my gosh. What a. What a horrible nightmare. there. Another one up here. Gotta wait for them to go down, apparently. Whoa! Oh, I was supposed to hit it there? How do you keep getting me every time, dude? 16 rolls of 6. He hit three straight times in a row. Ain't that some bullshit. Alright, we're going to try to station somebody... Might have to kill the lore master, honestly. I'm gonna start spraying him with stuff. I don't care. I'll do it. Your kid. It's a jar. Why can't I break it in one shot? That's the dumbest thing ever, honestly. That's one dumb thing about this fight. It's a jar and I can't break it. In one try. It's a glass jar. That's unbreakable. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh crap, and he's hurt too. No, I'll just get more hurt. I'll get more hurt bad. What the hell? You can revive everybody at the same time? Oh, I'm in bad trouble. I might have to get dogs out just to, uh... Uh, yep, I'm gonna have to do that. I wish the whip would bleed up here, man. I know it's three three height high, but still, it's it's a whip. I should have some kind of you know visible range I can do. <sighs> Maybe I should leave this to the uh, the other guys because this isn't moving anywhere. I think I have to kill the lore keeper in order for these platforms to go up and down. Might have to just come back and kill the lore keeper right now. <laughs> Guessing that's the answer to my problems, right? All right, well, if that's the end, I'm guessing there's probably one more here. Maybe one in the corner. I gotta look in the corner here. I gotta check this corner here, but there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six left, maybe seven. And get them all broken, like, very quickly. I could make this, uh, make this over right quick. I did pull out those dogs that quick. Just gotta try to get a lay of the land here. And I think we're gonna splash everybody with a little bit of holy water. Good! Good, got two of them. Hey, Slime Lou, how's it going? How are you doing today? We... Your guy's still alive. Your guy's still alive. He's, uh... I think he's... ranged over here. Let's let's find him. We're, we're losing some hit points. You might... Somebody might go down in this fight. Hopefully they don't. Uh, but you are my ranged bro. Wherever you are. Can't... Yeah, right there. So, you're still here? Still still doing well? Um, right now, one of my better guys, actually, because, uh, well, dodge isn't all that good right now, because <laughs> I gotta, like, restore 
my fatigue, obviously. But, um... But 51 defense for natural, you know. We've got this uh, owl helmet here, which is 310 for 14. Quite a good good pickup. And uh, this one here, too, is quite good, too. And I just, you know, sword lance. Sword lancing all over the place. Oh, and uh, because I got you arena veteran, that's why your resolve is like... I think it's actually 90-something, but because we're doing well in the battle, I think uh, your guy's, like, feeling pretty dope. You know? Uh, so, where are we at here? We're we're in a pickle, I'll tell you that much. We are definitely in a pickle. Ah, uh, there goes our dog. Oh, there's a ghost. There's a mini-me over there. There's a ghost mini-me. Good. Uh, I want to get back to my team here. I know there's a ghost over here. Oh, wait. Uh, this doesn't stop horrified, I, I don't believe. Rally doesn't stop horrified, right? I don't believe it does. I think horrified just forces a skip turn. That sucks. But we just threw some <laughs> blessed water on a lore keeper, man. <laughs> and I'm trying to find all these flashes. This is the ancient library. This is a this is a rare fight right here that we're doing. Hopefully we can win without any casualties. I'd love to do it without a single casualty. I know we'll probably lose some dogs and stuff, but it's, you know, better than us, right? We can get, we can get dogs back, but, you know, human beings... Yeah, it takes a while to regrow one of those, you know? Man, I'm over... I, oh, there's another jar. I'm trying to figure out where all these uh, jars could be. Oh, there's a specter in a corner. Okay, might have to kill him. I wonder if I kill him if it lowers these uh, if it lowers these uh, things here. I I forgot how these go, but I think if I kill the lore keeper, this moves up and down and stuff and uh, stuff like that. I hope there's no more jars here. So we're looking at... I broke all the other jars. I don't think there's any other jars over there because there's just flags on the edge there. I didn't see anything. Uh, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think I got to kill the lore keeper. Okay, so you're kind of, you're kind of done. You know what? Fudge it. We're getting the gun out. Wait, did they just... Did they place exploding tiles and I can't see it? Last time I was able to see exploding tiles and they when they did that. I'm gonna be major pissed if they place exploding tiles and I don't know where the hell they placed them. I'm gonna be really, really pissed with the developers, I'm serious. They pull off that do that shit again. Oh, they just raised a guy. Okay. I was like, what is going on here? That is not what I signed up for. Um, 
Okay, uh, alright. So you just raised a dude. That's... That's a lot better than I thought. Alright, I'll bring you back here. Bust a skull. But come forward. Can't really do much else. Um... Just gonna be kind of target practice for a second. But then again, I'll be right next to Lore Master. He won't be able to move. Could put a uh, could put a dog down behind me, I guess. But I could become a big target, though. And he's uh, I don't really want to be a big target right now. I'm gonna put out a dog here. Uh, we'll see where the dog goes. It's not where I wanted him to go. Come on, you guys can't get that good a chance every time. These guys get amazing rolls. I'm not kidding you. Oh, there's a lore master right over there. Do they just keep popping up everywhere? You know what? I gotta recover. I gotta recover. Oh, this sucks. I've got two of these guys here. You're kidding me, dude. A thing that doesn't move anywhere and you have a percentage to hit the damn thing? Are you kidding me? Ah. <laughs> For being a master archer, <laughs> that blows. <laughs> Seriously, man. I got I got him have you recover too. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. I am over fatigued. Can I? Is there a platform up here I can get up to? One, three. Oh, if I was a spear user, I could hit it from here. I don't know if that's going to be uh, what I needed to be. I need to get him back. Actually, he's he's one of my good guys right now. I don't. I can't can't afford to use him like that. That's as far as I can go, really. Wow. Uh, that's great. That's actually not. Um, I have to kill these ghosts. I wanted to go up the step. Not there. <laughs> Okay. Where do I go for a good shot here? There's four extra ghosts? Where in the hell are they? Oh boy. We are in some deep shit. Ah. <sighs> 
Wait, what did they put on me? Withered? Wait, what does Withered do? Is this a new thing? I've never seen this before. What? Who do they put it on? Durka Durka. What is Withered? Minus damage, initiative, fatigue. Oh no. One more turn though, because I do resilience on everybody. So yay! <laughs> not the greatest, but not overly terrible. Okay, so seeing as I'm withered and all that, uh, damage initiative, max fatigue. Wait, does he have a weapon? Did I? What happened to their weapon? That's weird. All right, I'm gonna recover, and just, just because there. Um, I'm gonna start banging on this guy. Oh, oh, holy water! That's right. Um. Okay, so he's still sprayed with holy water. Should I save it or should I use it? We got the the thing here. No, I think it's lancing time. Might even have to bring out a dog. Uh, I don't know. Do you have to kill all my dogs? Seriously, I I. All right, sixty percent. Can someone in the chat please tell me why I have a 67% chance to hit a non-moving item? Especially with a, a top-tier archer who has freaking pretty damn good archer skills. Can somebody please tell me why that's actually a thing? I'd love to know. I want to say there's a good reason, but... I, I can't think of something right now. If only I had three range to reach here. Oh, and he's all... Okay, we'll recover with you too, then. Can I, can I get up the steps, please? Oh, yay! I feel like an old man. <laughs> Yay, I made it up the step. Hooray. If Oh, you know what? He's going to come over here. He's going to be able to. Oh, he can break this one and he can break this one. I can get my guy back. Yes. Yes. Cuz Lou, Lou, you're going to be the star right now. You're going to go up here. You can actually reach up to here, I believe. You break that. You'll go up here and you reach over to here. Because I think you can still reach within one space distance, but this is literally technically a three while I'm sitting on nothing. And then there's one. Well, I don't know. Maybe that'll work or not. So it's two. This one will definitely work, but if that one doesn't work, then we'll uh, get him back over there. Oh, you know what? Actually, he can stay back there because he can do this one for the middle one. Lou, you're going to have to stay in the back. But you'll be able to break three of those jars. i got to get my other guys... Moving forward here. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully this will work. Let's uh, do this. Really? We are that fatigued. Well, we're running through a bunch of sand, I guess. That makes sense, right? And I'm... A carrot is that fatigued. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to recover there. Fudge it. Cover. Keeps making ghosts.
This is ridiculous. Good. Oh, we got a ghosty guy back here. You know what? I gotta take care of him first. This guy doesn't even have a weapon. Oh, you know what's great? Their weapons are worn out. So their weapons are so worn out they broke. I'm going to be fighting stuff that doesn't have good and good... Oh, that's a blessing, actually. So he makes a ghost. Ghost makes other guys re-raise. I really need to get out of this damn miasma, though. This guy's going to take forever. Pocket recover. Okay, Abe can come back. We're gonna let Lou take care of that uh, those other two things right there. You know what? We need to re uh, we need to recover. Oh, I can't get that one. Could help get this one, maybe. But I think by the time he breaks that, it'll be too late. I think we should just come over here and just work on this one here. <clears throat> well, I guess a good thing is if they come back without swords because they wore them out, uh, it can help us a bit. How much did I do to it? I don't even know. It's near death. This this jar is near death. Developers, you suck. Near death jar my ass. For fuck's sakes. Who, who writes this stuff up? I don't even know. All right, Alec Baldwin. Let's uh, get you somewhere safe here, buddy. Okay. I don't really know where these other ghosts are. So I'm going to try to come back here, help out this bro. Can I do more? No, I can't do more. Near death jars. Come on. What a joke. Almost dead. What does he have in his hand here? A little mace?
properly check this area though? I think I did. And all their weapons are broken. This is fantastic. Okay, I could get this one here. I know I can do that. I don't know what to do with him there. I don't know. There's two ghosts over here. Oh, I have to deal with him. Perfect. Dude, you're kidding me. Ugh. Great. Yes! Got that one! Oh, I'm over fatigued. We should probably try helping out with some of these jars here. Wait, how much do we have left here? So we got... Just got to calculate this for a second here. Looks like all that's left... Which I should probably look in a corner here. I don't know if I got... I didn't check that far corner, but I might have to in a second. Looks like everything else is there. So we got one, two... I don't know if there's anything in the middle here. Might have to look around... There are two for a second, but we've got one, two, three, four, four left. Seems. OK, 
Okay, so there's that one. He's about to get to there. I think I'll probably rush up here. And we'll kill him off next. Um, let's go stand here. Good. Wait a second, what the hell's going on here? Let me see what the hell's going on. Ah, oh, damn it, you put them back up on pedestals. Well, not all of them. This one here. This one I might be able to get with the whip. I gotta get my whip guy over there. Get him up on top of here and then I can whip it from a distance. And then this one's easy to smash. Okay, we're, we, we, we could do this. It's just gonna... Take a little coordination. I get, get I gotta get my whip guy all the way over here. I'm gonna send him this way instead, and he's gonna cross paths over here. And then uh, everybody else should could just come on back. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, what's everybody think about this battle? Let me know uh, in the comments down. When it first came out, I did it like almost immediately. <laughs> when I found out about this battle, it's uh, it's kind of fun. But uh, not easy. Absolutely not easy. Oh, why did I do that? I needed to... Uh, oh my gosh, I needed to rest. I need to get a rest here real quick. Look at all these flaming skulls running at me. I need to rest with you too, I think. Hmm, what should I have? Um, I'll have a beer, please, barkeep. That sounds like a grand idea, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you have to hit me every time, please. Could you not do that, and like, ever again? There's another ghost up here. Oh my gosh, there's ghosts and there's bloaty dudes. Well, good thing I got a gun. <laughs> I don't know how much it's going to do me, but I got a gun. <sighs> okay, this changes a couple uh, things. No. I can't get him? <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> You're telling me I cannot see this guy. Okay, I'll break that instead. Fucking ghosts. Okay, good. I'm kind of safe for now. Yeah, you're going to need a beer for this one, man. Nice hero, you're going in hard. Alright, Ava, well, I'm just going to have you hit this thing just to blow it up. Blow up the other one. Please, we need to get out of the way, bro. Oh, thank God. I think we gotta bring out our dogs again. I hope they don't stand on something stupid.
Here, fight Peter over here. That will be probably better. And I'm out. Altison. <clears throat> oh, what a blessing. We're taking, we're going to the scythe. We're getting the hell out of Dodge, too. We found a scythe under your feet. <laughs> that was, that'll save us some time. Okay, I got to think about this here because you got a bunch of. If I go down, oh, that sucks. If I go down here, I'm be trapped with all these other splody guys. Oh, he's in a really bad position too. I think we're gonna have to have carrot up, go on to run. I think we're gonna have to have him go on to run. Honestly, I don't, I don't think that's gonna be any good. Oh, thank God. Lou's just going to have to go up there and do it, I think. I don't even know what he did. Good job, Mio. Good job, buddy. Oh, if only I was closer. You know what? Gunhilder is going to have to take a hit. I, I, I. Otherwise, it'll probably come after him. Yeah, we're we're just going to have to do it. Gunhilder, you're going to have to take a hit for your bro, man. Because <clears throat> he's already a little bit hurt. I don't, I don't want him getting too too badly hurt here. See, this is where it gets really difficult. <clears throat> These screaming skulls and exploding floor plates. Good thing is if they blow up on each other, they actually will break each other too. So it's not too out of the wind, you know, or out of the way. Um... I gotta get to these ghosts, too. Good job, dog! Good job! I can't do anything there. Alright, where are these ghosts at? There's... Three, four of them. The whole onslaught's back here, too, so I'm gonna have to go back. You know, get hit, but whatever. Um, here we go with that. Oh my gosh, Durka is hurt with hit points. Mm. 
Oh, and he re-raised too. That ain't good. Guess I gotta black him a bit. Okay, I'm kind of in a safe spot. But he's not. And it goes to way up there. Altison, I hope you can handle all this damage, man. You can regrow some of your health with the explodey stuff, but I need to uh Oh, it's on the ground now? When the hell did that happen? I gotta re oh, fudge. Wow, this is weird. Do I have to... I think I need to repair that. I gotta get there. <laughs> I'm not gonna get hurt too badly, but... You know, bad enough, still. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't even, oh my god, I can't even move closer. I gotta move there, get blown up, and then wait a turn still. Oh my gosh, fatigue overload. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? I could have shot him first turn, and then I wouldn't have gotten blown up. Oh well, let's... uh. See if we can make them both blow up on each other. One shot is all I got. Okay. Let's try this. Damn, it doesn't go far. Oh, good job, doggo. Oh, no, you're on the wrong space, dude. This place kind of freaks me out more than uh, the Black Monolith does, and probably for reasons you can understand. Okay, we're going to have to split the damage here, buddy. I hope it works. You're kidding me! Eighty percent, roll eighty five, fantastic. Well, hero, time to be a hero. If I hit this guy, he'll explode on this guy. And kill him too. All right, cool, that works.
Oh, this sucks. Really? Chance 91. Roll 92, right? Oh, 98. Okay. I was off by a few. <clears throat> More ghosts, eh? Uh, another bad roll. <clears throat> okay, I think we broke all the philacities, right? So I don't think he can uh, spawn anywhere else. I think we gotta kill the ghost now. Which I guess I'm going north for that. <sighs> oh my gosh. I need more. Any more time? Four to put a shield up. A little too much. <laughs> oh. That is way too many ghosts, I'm just saying. Dear God. <laughs> Fucking ghosts everywhere. Oh. I mean, flaming skulls is what I meant. Oh my god. What? You made him raise with my damn sword? You're ki That's cheating. He just picked up my sword because I was the fucking there. Oh my... I, did I didn't know they would steal your stuff. What a ridiculous game. Okay, I gotta... He's, he's taking forever to do stuff like that. <laughs> Can you believe that, folks? Can you believe he just... He just... Stole my damn sword? That's unbelievable. I'm going to take a hit no matter what, right? Nope, I want to do that. I gotta kill ghosts, but I gotta figure out where they all are. I'm, I'm sure he's probably spawning some somewhere. Yay. They're all over the place, really. Oh, 
Okay, the dog's distracting him. I'm already doing... Not doing that great. Thirty seven percent just to do that. All right, I'm going to go right here and apparently do nothing. Good, he came down off his high horse. Oh. That was close, Altasen. You could have died by your own sword. Where do I need to go? Is there any more? Oh, there's a ghost up there. I need to re I need to heal with him, to be honest. we go now. Are there more ghosts out there? I mean, there could be. Oh, thank God. The dog killed the ghost. Unfortunately, the dog died. Yes! Kill the other ghosts too. There's only two ghosts left. Got one. And got you. Oh, good. Whew. I think that's it for the ghosts. I'm taking back that sword, Altison. I'm not letting him have that again. That will not happen again. Oh my gosh. So we got rid of that ghost down there. Let's see if there's any more. I, know, but I keep mixing up ghosts and exploding skulls. There's exploding skulls everywhere, but I gotta take care of the ghosts that he makes up here. And I gotta kill him off too. So we gotta kill him and the ghosts. So we kind of need to stay a little spread out. Uh, I think you'll have to recover for now. Uh, 
Oh, maybe I should put my dog out. Oh, he built up two more ghosts, didn't he? Oh my gosh, why can't I do anything? Freaking work here. Oh, fatigue. You're kidding me. 85, 96. Why is my luck so bad with that? Oh, there's another ghost right there. He keeps spawning them all over the place. And I can't even walk away and hit. I'm that fatigued. Holy shit. I don't believe it. I can't even kill a ghost with a whip. That's a lot of screaming skulls. Do you, get, do you got enough of them there, guys? Are there, are there enough skulls out here? I was gonna say, I don't, I don't know if there are. Crap, there's more of these ghosts. Alright, I'm gonna have to fight. I'm gonna have to hold this guy here. Unless this ghost is in a corner here, I don't know where they all are. There's like four ghosts, right? I could make this I could make them blow him up. Nice hair is really over fatigued. Oh, this this really costs a ton of fatigue. Yep, I figured he was gonna get up there, do some stupid shit like that. I can't hit him anymore. Good. And now we can't hit him. Yay.
and a miss. <laughs> Just like <laughs> it should be, right? <laughs> oh, he's ready to fight him. I gotta get out of the way. I gotta find these other ghosts. I don't know where the hell they are. Maybe they're over here? I, I don't know. And I want to go stand here again so I can pick up my my damn sword. All right, let's go. Stick it. We're, we're we're gonna pick up the we're gonna pick up the sword again. All the the scythe is really good. I can't have them picking up because they're gonna respawn and pick up whatever weapons on the ground. Apparently, I cannot have them like I gotta drop off my sword somewhere where they haven't died, and then pick up a scythe because it'd be a little bit easier. How much is it for a pickup? Is everything four? For action points? Yep, everything is four. You're kidding, bro. All right. I'll just blow up that way. I'm just going to wait right there. we got to find these extra special ghosts somewhere. I don't know where they are at, though. You know, I'm gonna wait for him to, uh... I'll wait, I'll wait for him to move first. Oh, crap. Wait a second, what am I thinking here? Is there... Oh, we're, not, we're still too far away. If this is only close enough... We could probably hit him from a higher higher raised area. Alright, I'm out of arrows. I do have other stuff, so I might have to drop some arrows for this guy. If we get close enough to do that. Come on, 95. I was gonna say, don't don't do that stuff to, don't do that to me right now. That is not fair. I don't appreciate. Okay, you can walk away. Got to see if there's another ghosty somewhere. I don't I don't know. Okay, it doesn't look Oh, there's two ghosts over here. But if I move this way and I hit one of these splody guys, I can't hit that. Good. Oh, that sucks. This guy is a problem. Chance 80. Rolled 81. 99. Man. That's why I see other people play the game and they're and they're like, I did it this day and this day, and it was like super easy, super fast. 
uh, unless you're getting 100% hits all the time, you're going to have some problems. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's already hurt a little bit too. Okay, so he made a he made a specter over here and over there. That's what I can tell. Gerholt, I think you're gonna have to put a dog out here, man. I think we have to go. We're gonna have to go hunting. Hunting for wabbit. Should I or just send it out somewhere else? I think we'll send we'll send it out somewhere else and see if he goes somewhere else. I don't know where he's gonna go. Oh wait, what am I doing? Well, there is a case I miss, you know. Alright, sorry man about that. I think we'll just take this with us. Again? Seriously? This guy's a little more powerful at the moment. Uh, where are the other ghosts at? I don't know. Whoa! That is mighty beaut- That is- that is mighty scully of you! Fantastic. Wait, he got his weapon back? Oh no. Can we stop with the infinite skull heads, please? That would be fantastic. I can understand like five or six of them, but resurrecting 13 of them every single time is a bit much. Oh, that dog is dead. That dog is toast. Nice hero, do we have anything from ranged we could use? No, I don't. I don't have anything like that, do we? Oh, okay, let's see what's over here. There's there's four ghosts left. I'll be able to hit one, but I can't until he moves out of the way.
I got one. Thank you. I was wondering when they're going to give me that 100% hit there. I was like, I don't know when that will even happen there. <coughs> huh. Okay, so there's four ghosts. One, two, three, four. So they're all right there. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. Finally. <laughs> Delta Sun, you're just going to have to weather it. Weather the storm, buddy. And I'm totally tapped out, too. I'm fine with that. All right, man. Oh, man, that dog. I got an obstacle in my way, too. I'd go up and, and uh, attack this thing here, but... You know what, I need to hit this ghost over here. Oh, why is he, uh... This shit's nuts, dude. <laughs> this shit has extra nuts inside of it. Developers were out of their mind when they built this one. They're like, let's make the most insane thing ever that will force people to play for fucking 10 hours. <laughs> like, yeah, that sounds great. I like it. Uh... It's fun, but it's uh, uh, trying to figure out where the ghosts are going to be by the time I want to fight the Lord Keeper. I'm over fatigued. I can barely swing a sword. Uh, you know, it's uh, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so the ghosts are doing that. Running up a line. Okay, uh, uh yep. all right, we'll do that. Good! 
Oh, no, the doggy bled out. Oh, that's so sad. Look at this guy. Lost treasure hunter. He's definitely lost, all right. That's going to happen either way, right? And another ghost? Man, how do they keep spawning these guys? I don't even know how they sp I don't know who's spawning the, the extra ghosts. I guess it's the lore keeper? I want to say that that's who it is, but... And there's another one. Uh, whatever, I gotta get over there soon. Oh. Am I still over fatigued? Holy cow. How much uh, do I have left here? Can I just switch? I'll just switch with that one for now. I'm going to re, re fatigue myself later. Ahem. Yay. We just got to get over here somewhere. Are there ghosties up here too? I don't even know. Really? He actually hit. Wow. I'm over fatigued. Okay, I got my whip guy up there. Lou, you're coming back here. Good, we got one. One out of the way. Try to get back. We're gonna to get to the lore keeper and and try to knock him out if we can. gonna go that way okay so there are four ghosts I should have brought my bigger hammer. My long range hammer. 
Oh, and fantastic. He goes back up again. Great. Uh, what do you what can you do, you know? I got a I got to recover. He's so ridiculously over over fatigued. Well, at least once he comes back down, he's going to get ganged up on really hard. That's sad. There's still three ghosts? Alright, where are these damn guys? Okay, so I was going for that one. There's the one down here. And then the new one. Okay. That makes sense. I'm not really worried about this guy. I, not, I'm not really worried about him, honestly. Uh, let's try to stay in the center here, I think. Oh, man, I should have recovered. That's what I should have done. Man, this sucks. All the stupid damage I gotta take here because this stuff... Okay, so he's hitting himself. I wonder... This would be beautiful if he actually does hit himself. I'm just saying. It would be quite the uh, spectacle there. Uh, let's just... Let's just recover. Good. We got one down. Got two down. We got one more to go. Uh, actually, we're gonna stay to we're gonna we're gonna stay in pairs here. Well, we're gonna try to stay in pairs. Uh, this will be safe for you. Geralt is kind of waning on some. I wonder what he did there. Wait a second, did you kill off my guy? You didn't kill off my guy. I was going to say Altison was in line with one of those things. Wait, I'm down to 17? Oh, no, no, I had 16, 18. Did you kill a dog or did you kill a, a bro? Lord Keeper transcends. Apparition discovered, apparition discovered. I'll just keep... Fucking. Uh, 
Okay, so they're 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 back again. Let's see where they're at. That one's there. We gotta kill the lore keeper, and then we can work on the ghosts. But he's gotta come down like right now. Fucking recover here. He needs to recover too. Oh, two ghosts right here. That'd be fantastic. Actually, let's just recover for now. Altacin is probably the best thing we can do. And then try to use the Reaper. Uh, keep keep a little bit of distance between us and the enemy, you know? Oh crap, there's the ghost up- oh my gosh. Why did I park myself there? We need the Lord Keeper to come down right now. He's gotta get down here immediately. Kind of funny his soldiers ended up fighting him the whole time. he comes down. I need him to come down right now. Hmm. What am I doing? Oh, he needs to recover. <laughs> Okay, so we're still quite good there. We need to have to break this guy here. Yay! Miss! I wish it would have hurt his ass, though. Maybe it did. I don't know. Did it hurt him at all? Man, I say you're just taking one for the team every time. I wonder if there's ghosts up here. I don't know where they're all at, but apparently they kept respawning. It seems like there's only four at a time, though. I don't know where the other one is. Is he down here? It's one, two, three. Oh, and then the one up there. Okay. Uh, wait, where are we? Where are we again here? Uh, let's just <laughs> not take all that damage. Oh, and he's full too. Try, try to go for reach so I don't have to, like, take all that stuff, you know?
this is what sucks. It, 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 it gets, it gets close to this point here where, you know, everybody's all grouped up, you know? Perfect. Okay, now we have to go hardcore kill this guy. Man, I need a beer. I need to take like a small break. Uh, this is, I've been at this for, I don't know, two hours now. Okay, we're gonna have to rest and, you know what? I need to get a lot closer actually to be very careful with. Oh man, I'm fucking over fatigued too there. Huzzah! <laughs> They're all surrounding me. Uh, like some bad joke. Did I get hit by that? I thought it was far enough away. I thought it only hits like right next to it. I don't know. Good, we got him a few times. I like that. Alright, I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be right back. Hopefully nobody dies. With exploding skulls everywhere, you know? Alright guys and gals, I might need a little luck here. Oh, we're getting close. But I have to say this is one of the most uncoordinated battles I'll probably ever fight. <laughs> Everything goes everywhere. Man, that's nuts. Oh, you know the lightning used to break the splody skulls. Now it doesn't look like it's breaking them. Did you notice, notice that? Last time he did the lightning and the splody skulls were on there, they would all get hurt. Thanks for the luck, hero. Gonna need it. Oh my gosh, I'm just one space away from just tearing into him. I'm so sorry to do this to you, nice hero. It's just you're you're kind of tanking it for the other guys here. Got one spear left. Someone else is gonna have to give me some arrows here. Uh, 
Someone's going to have to drop him. Oh, you know what? I can recover now. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm going to wait on his turn here. I think there might be something weird and magical going on here if I kill him off now. Come on. What the hell? How did he hit him? He didn't even get a turn to go yet. Oh my god, really? going to try to focus him down if I can. Oh, I should have moved out of the damn way. Why didn't I do that? I can't even move. Oh, Lou, you're over fatigued, man. Oh, carrot. Carrots on the verge of pet. Oh my gosh, we're freaking fatigue is over the top. Pierced chest. I think we're just going to wait there. All right, bro. Going to need your pack. Thanks, bro. No, carrot. Oh no. I think carrot's out. I hope not. I sure hope not. Where are all these damn ghosts? Okay, so right in the middle and on the end there. Where's the other one, though? Is he in a corner? Finally, we killed the lore keeper. And we just gotta break the ghost because the lore keeper br brings the ghosts back. So. I hope Carrot can stay okay. Uh, for now. Oh, you wanna light yourself up? That's fine with me. Oh, there's the other one.
Yay! I am so sorry, nice hero. Just just banging away at every every one you hit. Oh, I should hit the middle one. Why did I do that? Um. Oh, he's kind of bruised up here. Oh, Geralt is kind of messed up too. You're kidding me! Just because he has a damn thing, he has no fucking head. How is he able to see what he's attacking? Headless knights? A bunch of bullshit. Gunhilder isn't doing all that great either. Uh, I gotta get to these ghosts, because they keep spawning shit, like, uh, every second. I'm down to two health. Carrot, you're down to two health, man. I am so sorry, man. You might perish here. Didn't mean for it to come to that. Oh, poor doggy runs away and get and jumps in the worst spot ever. Oh boy. All right. Here's the reason why I take that. <laughs> now everybody has an extra pack. Now I can go back to archering. At some point here, I'll have to take a couple explodey things probably. Uh, I don't think he could reach to carrot right now. Just Nope, and get that. There's the other one. I want to get these guys. I want to get these guys dead as fast as possible. Maybe we might be able to survive to some degree, you know. My God. Oh, you know what? I don't think they're spawning splody heads anymore. I don't think they're spawning them anymore. I think the lore keeper spawned them all. Oh, that could be the thing. Really? This is unbelievable. You're kidding me! I can't get away? Fucking rolls a three? If you roll another one, I'm already, I'm dead. Sean the Shanker's down. See, this is the thing. People, you know, don't realize, yeah, you might, you might get really lucky. I've seen other people get extremely lucky to the point that it's like, does more looks like a mod than it looks like luck. Because it's like, how did you hit 60 times in a row? Even with all different kinds of rolls? That, that just doesn't seem that way. You know? It doesn't seem that way. I don't know. Alright, are there any more ghosts around here? Well, there's that guy. 
I don't know. Well, Sean the Shanker struck down. He is struck down. I might like he'll he'll get to live again, but you know. We're just gonna do that there. Um I gotta make the noble sacrifice, I think. Yep. The mighty noble sacrifice. And I can't even hit. Oh, man. One ghost down. I was hoping for a flawless, but whatever. Carrot's down to two hit points. Can we stop this guy? Thank you. Alright, are there anybody else here? I was so hoping we were going to get a flawless there. He gets freaking... He had a chance of nine. And he got three. And then he had a ridiculously low chance. He got that one too. If I can shoot stuff, I'll be kind of happy here. Come on, man, let's get over here. Good. Dang it, 50% chance. Alright, it's time to bring this home. No more ghosts. No more splody things. Time for Altison to bring out his main objective. We're gonna go crush these things. Ah, oh, carrot you. <laughs> you barely got away. Yeah, see that's the thing. That's what I was saying before. Bleeding stacks. That's how I mostly die. That's how most of my guys die. They bleed out. Bleed stacks and stuff like that. I think in the future, I think in the future, you know what I'm going to do? It's going to make the most sense. I'm going to kill the enemy, stand on top of their bodies, pick up their extra, pick up their main weapon, and leave them nothing. <laughs> they can't get revived. They'll get revived with no weapon. That's probably the best, the best thing to do. I didn't know that if I left my weapon there, they'd spawn and just pick up my weapon, but now I know. Whoa, that, uh, that, that Crypt Cleaver, I don't know about that. Those guys can do some damage. Got these three guys in the middle here. I'm going to send myself in to save this guy. Get out of the way, bro. Altison and Veracity. 
save the day. Carrot, you might want to back off. <laughs> Just a wee little bit. Oh! You want to go fight Altasin? Oh, that's fine. We'll see which one wins. Pretty sure Altasin will win. Yeah, I think next time I'm going to kill the bastards, pick up their weapon, and... But sometimes they spawn without a weapon. And I think that's due to the fact that they over... They, they use their weapon up too much. They broke it, essentially. Uh, maybe Nice Hero can handle this? I'll have to see. That Cleaver can do damage, though. Avemo's on the way. Bring it. You stay there, little buddy. I think Altison can handle this right now. Might bring in Peter just to do some extra damage, but I think Altison will probably 1v1 him right now. Do you mind, Altison? Do you want to 1v1 this last cleaver? Ancient honor guard guard? It's been a hell of a fight. <laughs> I can understand if some people fell asleep or... You know, taking a break for a second. This is a long battle. But yeah, next time, if I get the chance, I'm just gonna... I, I think I'll just have an open space. Um, probably just to uh, pick up their weapons when they're done. Because that would have made everything, like... Probably 50% better. And he's dead. Good job, Altison. Oh, we got uh, a weakened heart with Sean DeShanker. 30 hit point, minus 30. Wait, minus 30% hit points. Oh, no, that's bad. That's bad. We're going to have to find a way to fix that. Okay, so this is all we got. We got our large quiver of arrows back. Uh, we got a heavy southern mace. find it interesting. There's some of that mace stuff in there, you know. Uh, with with the uh, tomb raiders or the treasure hunters, the treasure hunters are the ones that the guy that the skeleton was talking about. It's like we already had interlopers in here, and and now you're coming back. Now you're gonna do more. You know, it's the treasure hunters they resurrected to fight fight against the uh, humans and stuff. All right, everybody. So that was the battle of the library. If you think there's a easier way to do it, let me know. I would like to know, but I think in the future. I'm just going to have an empty space so I can just pick up their good weapons. So if it's like a cleaver or something ridiculously strong, I'm just going to pick it up and be like, haha, I'll hold on to that for you. <laughs> Maybe I'll drop it off somewhere else. But I guess the fact is if you... I think you could drop it off somewhere else. I don't think they'll pick up a weapon. But you could move move to some other space and pick it up there. But anyways, the lore keeper collapses to the ground, a pile of ash and... Philastrity slowly fade to the dark. You walk over with torch in hand. Its black skull resides atop the book that once dwelled in its chest. Captain, I don't think we should be touching anything here. You ignore one of your men and pick the book up. Its leather covering is stitched together. And as you look closer, you can see the flesh of ears and noses encompassing the cover. Immediately, the Bones of the slain undead scratch across the marbled floor. 
One zips between your legs and flies into the pile of ash. A dull white fire alights inside the socket of the skull. That's more than enough for you with quick command. You get the men to climb back up the rope. Yourself the last to leave. As you near the light of the earth above, you take one moment to stare back down, and the black skull is already in your face. It floats alone, eyes burning white, capturing your sight in a cone of fire you cannot understand. And as you stare into it, you can hear the voices of your men fade away. The skull floats alone and you almost feel the urge to let the rope go. The skull speaks to your mind. It is but one of its gifts, interloper, and you are not the first to have it. There is many who have taken it, and the many there is but one end, the one who awaits us all. The skull's fire snuffs out and drops away into the dark where you hear a brief clatter. The voices of your men rush back in louder, than ever, and you look up and see Veracity the trigger's hand grabbing hold, they pull you out. As you exit, the entrance sinks into the sand, and all you have of the place is a strange flesh and book filled with writings you cannot ever hope to decipher. You gain the black book. What did I just take? And it's gone. It's worth a thousand bucks. <laughs> the Black Book, an old and eerie looking tome with a flesh and cover. Its pages are filled with inscrutable writings and mysterious drawings that you can't begin to decipher. The longer you look at the book, the more uneasy it makes you feel. Perhaps someone with more knowledge in ancient language could make sense of it. Ah, maybe. Wow, I can't believe all that fighting. I didn't even level up my new guy. You got close, but geez. Uh, so so who went down? It was uh, okay. It wasn't Carrot. It was uh, Sean the Shanker. Oh man. Well, seventy hit points isn't so bad. I mean, it could be worse. He's got amazing freaking defense. I'll we'll have to try to heal that somehow. Get some, get some water of life or something. Life water. Get some life water. Maybe cure that up. If that guy wouldn't have hit him, he wouldn't have died. And you know that's true. He had a... What, 9% chance? Or 3% chance? I can't... I don't know. It was... Freaking pulled off a... A quick one there. Alright, so... Nobody technically died. Sean was knocked down, so... I mean, as far as death is concerned, it is kind of flawless in that sense. But uh, as far as getting struck down, that's that's a different story. All right, we're gonna put the black book in the uh, the back here in our memoir. I'm gonna turn this into my secret diary. You know, gonna write on this at night uh, whenever I feel down, and uh, we're going to you know just I don't know, just kind of hang on to it for a while. So. I was going to put it near my duck, but, you know, leave that there. All right, so leave that in the back. Hopefully hopefully one of our drunks won't accidentally lose that, which I think that one of them did lose the golden goose at one point, which is kind of upsetting. That's another reason. I don't do the, I don't do the iron mode. I don't want them to randomly lose exceptional weaponry that I'm saving for a later date or stuff like that. I feel it's a bit clownish it's a bit clownish it doesn't really it, it doesn't really add to the strategy of the game it just adds a random like oh shit moment that you know it, it i don't know i don't think it's fair i think it's completely unfair but uh yeah everybody thanks for hanging out thanks for watching we beat the sunken library i hope everybody enjoyed it So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to do right now. I am, uh, uh, man, that was a hell of a battle. We got a level here. We got a level there. 
think we're gonna I think I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna relax and just go to bed <laughs> oh man what a fight in some ways this could be harder than a black monolith because black monolith you're just fighting the skellies but here with all the splody die splody guys and him putting himself on a pedestal trying to figure out where to go where the ghosts are going to be I didn't really have to fight the ghosts but but killing them it did make them do you know less things there was less extra enemies to fight otherwise I'm just fighting all the enemies but maybe in the future I might change the strategy maybe I'll do uh, just pick up their weapons and uh, and then not worry if they spawn more but but then again if they spawn more and then they do the, all the lightning strikes on me and I can't get away I'll get hit like one of my guys did which I think for whatever reason the initiative was completely off and he wasn't able to move out of the way in time so I don't know what to tell you for that um, it's a very chaotic battle it's almost like you gotta do stuff the way it was done but then again there could be a better way uh, but yeah trying to break all the philosophies first I think it worked out better this time because uh, last time I was trying to kill him and then kill all the other stuff and it took about the same amount of time to be honest it didn't really take uh, any sooner this is this is literally a two hour battle I think it literally is a two hour battle but I think in the future the best way to probably play against this I'd have to say would probably be bringing like if you could make four cleaver guys at least four cleaver guys because then you could you know be a distance away and break the jars while being up on a platform and I think that would maybe be the best way to do it because pull arms are nice and all but they they don't go up those three spaces height wise and the only other thing I could think of is uh, um, if you got more bill hook guys or pokey guys or, or at least one of them because then if he does end up being in a space where you could hit him with a pull arm you could just pull him off the ledge bill hook him or poke him off the ledge and I think the bill hook would work better I think it has better accuracy pull him off that little platform he stands on and bam and now he's on the ground I don't know if he'll immediately shoot himself back up again or if he'll wait a turn or two, but he seems to do that kind of thing. So, I don't know. It seems like you kind of have to spread out first, get a couple guys to go around the sides. Cleaver guys with whips would be the best. I think they would absolutely be the best for this scenario because you get four of them. They can whip all the uh, splody guys before they get to you and probably stop a ton of damage you know in the meantime and uh the other thing is too if you got some free inventory after you threw some holy water pick up the strongest weapons i i would probably if if i had to do this a little bit differently i probably would have picked up that cleaver at the end so they couldn't even use that but i keep thinking about like killing the ghosts so i think I think in the future we'll have to take you have to look at the inventory as to what's there. Uh, because for for whatever reason, end game content with boss fights they always seem to give them like the most ridiculous roles to be able to like hit you or cut you down or whatever, and it just seems to happen a lot. So, anyways, I'm done. I got nothing left to uh, showcase here. That was the ancient sunken library fight uh it's it's kind of it's it's fun but it's very very much like what you saw it's very all over the place and uh so yeah so thanks everybody thanks for coming by for knights of tragaria i'm gonna go ahead and let you go and uh on well uh, yeah tomorrow tomorrow we will get back into brigandine i've uh got some stuff set up there and we'll kind of have a marathon of that so if you want to tune in for that definitely tune in tomorrow night you'll get to see that so all right take care everybody
Come forth, my faithful! Knights of Trigari, stand tall and stand firm. If you have subscribed to this and these lessons, let us serve aid to our fellow warriors. Your time is valued beyond gold or silver. So I thank you for sharing that and continue your work, my brothers.